Hello! Hi! I saw a fox in chat, I saw a rose in chat, I saw a nya in chat, and I saw a filthy fucking cable eating bob in chat. Fuck you, bub. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. We're gonna be doing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney continuing our playthrough of Trials and Tribulations. I believe when we left off last week, um, or the week before that, rather, I think we were just starting a trial, but I'm not really sure anymore, as it, we've had a whole week of downtime. So I don't... A whole two weeks of downtime, so I don't... I really don't remember anything going on anymore in this fucking trial. But that's okay. Um... I would like to introduce my special guest today. We have the one and only Danny DeVito Squadron here with us today, as usual. They've become a fixture of this stream. And let me bring them in now on a call of banana so they can actually be heard. Banana. Oh, banana. That was the signal. That Hi, was hello. it. That was a one. That was Hi. a one. Hey. Hello. Hi. How are y'all doing? Eggs. I have a little bit of the cables. I think I'm going to start banning cable eaters. <laughs> Stare. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm okay. One more time. I'm okay! Nice! Get the cables. I'm gonna go grab the stock. GG. <laughs> Burn down the stream! Hey, what happened? Relax. Alright, sorry about that. I had to go grab the sub. Eat the cable. Y'all think y'all are ready to start? Yeah. Sure, let, oh, the dog is ripping my earphone though. Why use the headset? So good. Terrible. Dog, please. Dog, stop. Dog, what the fuck? Alright, where are we? Wait, I'm Pearl? What? Yes. Dear yes, congratulations. You are not Pearl. I'm in danger. Uh huh? Hi, Pearl. Don't worry, characters are being uh, swapped around like. Uh, no other. I think that we're, I think we're on 4 1. I think so. That seems like the latest, right? And I don't play on my off time, so. That seems right. This is when the trial starts again, right? According to what this says. I think this is right. This looks right. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and hit it. October 14th, 9.41 a.m. District Court. Defendant Lobby Number Four. Do we want to do a quick character roll call so everyone knows who they are? Okay. Okay. Just for case people don't remember, it's gonna be me with Phoenix Wright and Luke Abney. Bob is gonna have Larry Judge and Maya. Rose is going to have Godot, Adrian, and Desi. Nya, you're going to have Pearl, Gumshoe, and Fun. And... One more time. Hey, Nick. I'm having one of those situations where, like... 
on stream, the music's probably lower. But for me, I can't hear you over the music. Hey, Nick! Okay, doing Better? that, I have to readjust now. Hi. <laughs> Honestly, I, I think my mind. the music could probably go down. You think so? Is it too loud? For me, it would be a bit loud. It sounds a little loud. Okay, I'm lowering it. I mean, compared to everyone else, it's like louder than people. I'm having a very hard time hearing between like what you're saying with the music. But that's also kind of a thing with me in general. But for me, it's very distracting and hard to hear. Okay, I've lowered the music down quite a bit. Give it a minute for the delay to kick in, and then let me know again. If I lower this anymore, it will probably become inaudible. I've had people complain. Um, it hasn't caught up for me yet, so I uh, still can't okay. really say. <laughs> okay. Yep, delay sucks. Sounds YouTube. good to me. Yeah, okay. it's it's quite a delay. Mm -hmm. So we're not we're not let even me, at this conversation. Let me refresh. Yet. I don't yep. think we're uh, we are for out. me. You are okay. Nani. Hit the like button. Sounds okay. Okay, cool. If that's and you can hear yourself okay too. But it sounded okay to me before, so. I think it's better. Okay. Like I can hear now. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and start the game now, shall we? Sounds good. Here we go. Alrighty. What time? What is it this time? You won't believe how many people are here for the trial. Well, it is a murder case. What are you talking about? They're here for the trial next door. Next door? Why don't you know this, Nick? <sighs> They're having Detective Atme's trial today. Detective... Atme? Who? They say they're going to try him as Mask Star the Mask. Already? That was fast. Boy, I'd love to see Mask Star the Mask trial. I know. By the way, where's Pearls? Oh, she went back home. She says she can't neglect her training anymore. Looks like Nia it's isn't going to be a murder trial. Yeah? What about it? I mean, it would be my first place to take a... What we've is Pearl? Like, nine? We've done it before. Pearl's like six. We've done it before. I want to I want to say that this is probably Luke. No, he's having his trial. I mean, he's not in there yet. He's probably out here. Can be pulled in there. It's I probably Rod, but I'm not sure. Maybe. I know you don't like me. Rose has really gotten in her training lately, huh? Yeah, ever since that incident last year. Please! Don't ignore me! Who are you? Uh, 
Mr. Delight, good morning. No one likes me. No one would notice me, even if I killed someone. Come on, don't be silly. Wait a second. You don't mean... You're the murderer. No! I'm just a poor thief! No way, that's not right. A thief can't really be poor. Let's see, according to... According to Mr. Delight, from his second crime on, he was following a bunch of set plans. Plans that someone had been sending to him to help him commit the heist. Do you really think there's a connection between a thief and a murderer, Nick? It's possible, but today's trial is a race against the clock. Huh. Come. Let's just take our time, like our dice. I'm afraid that's not an option. Mm. Welcome in, Tay. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Wave, wave, wave. Jerry's wrong on Gabriel's. October 14th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number six. <coughs> Sorry. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Von Delight. <clears throat> Ow. <laughs> wow. That was extremely loud. Sorry. That was quite loud. I have to move my microphone. I like the voice though. I like the voice though. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're doing okay, Tay. We're doing some Phoenix right today, as we do almost uh, once a year. The defense is ready, Your Honor. You're ready? Preparation is the last refuge of the week. Okay, slow down, everyone. Let's begin with your opening statement, Mr. Godot. He's got the judge in the palm of his hand again. Ron Delight is simply too young to be sent to war. That's all. I'm afraid I have no idea what that means, Mr. Godot. Ah. Then you need to get out more, Your Honor. Life is war. But that is exactly why you must be more precise in your wording. That's all my statement means. You understand now, right? No. <sighs> yes, well then, let me briefly summarize the details of this case. Wow, the judge is taking charge like he knows what's going on for a change. The victim is Kane Bullard, CEO of KB Security. 
his body was found in a safe at approximately 9 a.m. on the morning of the 13th. However, the time of death was estimated as 1 a.m. of the previous day. <clears throat> And that's when our little lost kitten dropped the ball. That little lost kitten is, of course, the defendant. Very well then, Mr. Godot. Please call your first witness. I never drink more than 17 cups of coffee during any given trial. I don't know if that's enough coffee. But the okay. first one is always the best. Um, Mr. Godot, your witness. Okay then. Let's hear what the defendant, Mr. Rondelite, has to say for himself. Fox also has new head cannon is that nobody dies of natural causes in the Phoenix Wright universe. I mean that checks out. <laughs> it's always murder. It's always a murder. Every single time. The defendant? Well, Mr. Wright, does your defense have any objections? It may be a bit of a disadvantage having the defendant testify, but... I remember when Mia was defending me. She allowed me to testify so she could do the cross-examination. She put a lot of trust in me back then. We have no objections, Your Honor. The defense will allow Mr. Delight to testify. It's you're a bad lawyer. Ha! You've got guts, trite. All right then, Mr. Rondelight, please take the stand. You did it, didn't you? Objection. Leading. Yes. What? 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 This is why you don't let your mm. defendant testify, Phoenix. Mm. Well, also, Phoenix didn't really do his job there. He uh, didn't say objection. For a moment there, I thought we'd set this record for the shortest trial ever. <laughs> for real. I thought the, the trial was fucking set and closed right there. No. Yeah, no, he was supposed to object to that question. He was supposed to be like, you know, you can't say it, you can't ask that one. That one, that one's way too direct. Also, it's not clear, like, he's supposed to... Did what? Narrow yeah. down, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Did he do what?
<sighs> well, Mr. <coughs> well, Mr. Delight, already looks pretty guilty with the face he's making. Nice. Phoenix. And once he opens his big mouth, probably put the last nail in his own coffin. Sorry about that. Ha! Huh. Very well. Now then, can you tell me something? If you didn't kill Boyd, why did you go to KB security? Well... I... that's kind of hard to say. Boy, I wish I could go home. Now then, let's hear the testimony about what happened. My visit to KB security. That evening, around 1 a.m., I went to see Mr. Pollard in his office at KB Security. The blackmail letter I got, it ordered me to go there. I'd been working for KB Security until a year ago, so I knew where his office was. One AM, the exact time the murder took place. The weak get washed away by the tides of fate. The strong drink it up. Ah, it's bitter today too. Just like my destiny. You never know that from the, from the way he's chugging it down. Mr. Wright, your cross examination, if you please. My visit to KB Security. Cross examination time. We're gonna... I'm not gonna make you read all this again. We're just gonna press it and you can read the new... The new dialogue. Gotcha. Cool. Oh. 1am, huh? You're absolutely sure about that? Yes, that's what my watch said when I was answering the CE office or no actually I'm not really sure my watch was slow and my internal clock was also a bit one a exact time the victim Mr. Bollard was murdered correct Too late for a coffee date, that's for sure. Press. It ordered you there? It was the first time I'd gotten a blackmail letter that ordered me to go somewhere.
Does that mean you've gotten other black mail letters then? Oh, of course. They'd say things like steal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Delight, you're a riot. Why don't you save those for later? Please shut the fuck up. Please don't say anymore. <laughs> Now, what should I do? I think I'm gonna press it harder. So what did the blackmail letter in question, the one that we're talking about right now, not the other ones, say? <laughs> it said to bring $50,000. Money, US eh? US Canadian yen. Canadian yen. <laughs> <laughs> A perfect motive for committing murder. Oh, but wait, wait! <laughs> <laughs> I never intended to pay that money anyway. Oh, is that right? All, he had nothing to hold over my head. I had nothing to be afraid of. Hmm, I am a directing boy indeed. Witness, let's have the added to your testimony. Yes, sir. A muddy mud skipper in outer space has a better chance of surviving than I do. This one's new, if you want to read this one. Blackmail threat didn't scare me. I wasn't gonna cause trouble, me trouble or anything. Just what were you being blackmailed about anyway? The blackmail letter said, if you don't want your identity revealed, correct? Sure, it was referring to the whole mask star to mask thing. But I was worried Mr. Bullard didn't have anything on me. He didn't. Anyway. I don't care what anyone says about me. Just as long as Desi believes in me. No. So that's why Miss Delight didn't believe he was Mad Star the Mask. That's why I knew. They were just hollow threats. Hmm. Press. You used to be a security chief for KB Security, right? A security chief? You? And yet, a year ago, you were fired without notice. 
Revenge for Goldbrush? A perfect motive for murder, wouldn't you say? Mm. This isn't good. Maybe I should change the subject. Hmm. What was your life like after being fired? What did you do after being fired from KB Security? I spent a lot of time looking for work. Then I decided I wanted to start something myself. Now good is going from bad to worse. So I started looking at books. TV and movies, learning all I could about masked men. Uh, gay. Also, you could have just gone into like Luchador or something. You really could have <laughs> just gone. You really could have just gone into wrestling. But that's just so much more profitable. Also, he yeah, wanted to learn about masked... all the masked men. <laughs> Fair enough. So you want to try drawing a comic, right? About masked men, like a superhero. Wow, you're so cool. Oh no, that's not right. I wanted to be- Hold it, your honor. Let's move along. Let's, let's, let's- <laughs> Funny, 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 funny one, this one. Funny, funny thing about this one. <laughs> let's uh, let's not. <laughs> but you asked a question. You're being quite odd today, Mr. D right? What? I no. almost called him Mr. D. White. <laughs> Mr. D. White. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Phoenix cover up moment. Yeah. <laughs> Way to bring the spinning buds saw one notch close to your own neck, Ace Attorney. There wasn't, there wasn't really much to his testimony, was there? Sounds like he's avoiding something. At least that's what it sounds like to me. A bad feeling about this. We better be careful. <laughs> Phoenix starred the right. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't find a way to make him spill the beans, we'll never get closer to the truth. I think if we go down the other avenue, I think on this last one, we might get something. Go ahead and try. I'm gonna go ahead and skip through this dialogue as we just read it. I'm gonna go to the... Alright, why were you fired? You know? Let, let's just start asking questions, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mr. Delight, please tell us why you were fired from your job. Well... The world is filled with those who have said, I wish I had never asked that. <sighs> okay, then I take it back. Defendant, please answer the question. I... well... I needed money. 
You needed money. Um, well, you see, Desi loves to spend it. It's kind of her hobby. Not exactly the best hobby in the world, huh, Nick? My salary wasn't nearly enough! So I stole data from the company. Oh. oh that's cool. Well, this guy's fucked. He's going to prison. Come again. Excuse me? Security has a lot of security info on all sorts of companies. And since I was a security team chief... You stole some data and sold it. Mr. Bullard found out and I was fired immediately. Uh, I wish I never asked that. <laughs> I wish I never asked that one. I shouldn't have asked that one. Damn it. I was somehow able to keep it a secret. I made it seem like I had quit on my own. What is it, Nick? You don't look so good. Someone who brings harm to the company is fired as punishment. You do well to remember that. I told you. <laughs> so you admit that you stole data from your company, is that correct? Yes. I'm sorry. This is a very important fact. Fact. Please add it to your testimony. Fact, one of blood. Oh man, this whole thing just took a big turn for the worse. Crashed and blew up. It's gonna take the jaws of life to rip this case from the clutches of disaster. Okay, to be fair, right? Let's talk about this one. To be fair here, he was already punished for this. Yeah. This was obviously already handled. Like, the company already handled it. If they were going to press charges, they would have. Yeah, so, like, you can't get in trouble for this one now. Nah. It does make you look bad, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, it makes him look like a thief, which he said he was, right? Like, he never denied that he's been a thief this whole time. Yep. So like it it just solidifies that case. Doesn't mean that he's a murderer. It doesn't give him a motive for like killing the 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 head of the company. He seems extremely un this guy seems extremely understanding of yeah no I fucked up and got fired. I fucked around and found out. Train Boy says hello, they're gonna be lurking for the beginning. Train Hi, Boy Train Gaming. Boy. Hi Train Boy Gaming, enjoy your lurk. Yeah, it's this fucking guy again. Why would you do something like that? Well, for Jesse's hobby. Yes. 
wasting money on. Huh? It's not a waste! Train Boy says, hello everyone! Hello, Train Boy. Oh, yeah. Band. No band. So, Mrs. Delight doesn't know that her husband was fired, does she? So it would seem. I'm not sure what to think about couples who keep secrets like that from each other. I can't believe it. This case has even gotten Maya to think seriously about couples. Oh! Please try to stay focused, Mr. Wright. There wasn't much in it to his testimony, was there? Sounds like he's <laughs> avoiding something. At least that's what it sounds like to me. Uh-oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. We better be careful. But if we don't find a way to make him spill the beans, we'll never get closer to the truth. Yeah. What if we just sit quiet? Like here? What if we just like stay quiet here? Is it too late for that? Is it too late to not say anything? Uh, yes. It is actually, yeah. Was it here? Whoa, wait, 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 this is all new. This is new. What the fuck is it's happening? All on. Well, too late now. We're just gonna go back and read it again. Are we gonna be able to? Shit. The testimony didn't change though. Am I gonna be able to go back and read this again? Well, that's fucked. I doubt it. We'll find out in a minute. Oh, maybe. Okay, is it this one? Yeah, it's that one. Holy shit. Alright. Well then. Let's hope. So what were you being blackmailed about anyway? The blackmail letter said if you don't want your identity revealed, correct? I'm sure it was referring to the whole mask star to mask thing. I'm afraid that reason ain't gonna hold up anymore. What do you mean? The victim had no proof the defendant was Mask Star the Mask. But... You were the one who sold company secrets. Only one year earlier. Uh... 
But that was all over with once I was fired. You know what? Godot has a point here. Yeah, that's probably what the blackmail is about. But it is true that the fact I stole secrets was kept under wraps. Even so, there was no reason for me to pay up now a whole year later. Is that really true? What is it, Nick? The fact that Ron was stealing company data. I wonder if he would have had a problem if that ever became public knowledge. Oh, I mean, obviously, yeah. Mr. Delight, I believe you would have been in considerable trouble if your identity as a company data thief was made public. Thanks for doing the prosecution's job, Phoenix. <laughs> Mr. Wright. What are you trying to do by bullying your own client? <laughs> ha! Men are like colonies of bacteria. The more heat you apply, the faster they grow. Th that's exactly right. Well then, feel free to keep up the heat. My little lawyer amigo. <laughs> little lawyer amigo. Yes. Oh, come on. Provide some evidence to back up your assertion. Wait, what? Why would Mr. Delight want to keep his data stealing secret going? Public. What, really? I guess Jesse? That's good, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Because Jesse hates thieves. Hates criminals and cowards, yeah. I was thinking because you wouldn't be able to get a fucking job anywhere again. That is also fair. I mean, think about that one. I don't know why this one's so hard. Why would you not want people to know that you're dishonest, you know? If you're at such a high position of power within a industry, right? Why would you not want people to know that you're dishonest? Because they'll never work with you again. Obviously. Mr. Delight, what you said just now doesn't match what you told me yesterday. What doesn't? I think you must have been scared, very scared, of having a certain person find out your secret. A certain person. Miss Desiree Delight, the defendant's wife. What? Listen to me, my Desi. She's. Looks like if I just sit back and relax, the fun will end before it truly begins. Er, Godot. Yes, you know. It was all your wife's fault.
what do you mean? This was like stone company data. Pay for his wife's spending habit, for which he was fired. Unable to face his own life, someone used his dirty little secret to blackmail him. And that is how this murder came about. Everything is falling neatly into place for him. Don't talk about my Desi like that! Or you'll be sorry! Ron, no! Ron, no! It seems that we've learned a great deal of things here so far. What do you think, Nick? I don't think it was possible to get so thoroughly whipped in just 20 minutes. Clearly, there is a su sufficient motive for murder. He stole data for his wife, and he killed to protect his secrets. Founding man who cared just a little too much. The motive is clear. Let's move on. Uh. What happened at the crime scene at one in the morning, Mr. Delight? Come now, tell us. We're all ears. Witness testimony at the CEO's office. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. Suddenly, I was hit on the forehead. After that, I remember being a bit dazed. I would just like to say that Shadow looked, uh, looked at me. Did he look at you? It, the Shadow, uh, looked, uh, looked, looked a bit like, uh, you know, like, look at me. It looked at you? Yeah, yeah. You. The shadow looked at me. I can't believe the shadow looked at you. Yeah, the shadow looked at me. Ooh, that's wild. It kind of looked like Luke at me, though. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, it was dark. It could have been anything. It could have been. But... It could have been. Uh, it could have been. Yeah, for all we know. Wow. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, you're blonde. Kind of see a blonde. I have an streak alibi. In that chat. What was your What's your alibi? Uh, my dog will testify that I was at home on the okay. couch. Your dog is biased. At whenever that time was. Your dog is biased for its own living. Uh, my cat would also testify. Your cat is also biased for the same reason. Okay, my roommate's dog would also testify. 
your roommate's dog is also biased for the same reason. <laughs> well, fuck! You know what? It doesn't matter. It kind of matters. Most of them are biased inherently. I think... I think we should, uh, we should arrest Nya, actually. Yeah. On in favor? Hey. I mean, Aye. Hey. Uh, Aye. I, that wait, he a, was wait a second, wait a second, I you can't. Wait, what was that, Rose? They were the first person I saw, so it had to be them. It had to be Nya, right? Uh, it, it, it makes sense. Just arrest the first person you see, it's so easy. But. I'm in favor. I'm innocent. Aye. 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 Wait a Aye. second, you can't have my trial Rush and you can't trial someone else. Court is now in session for the one trial of Nico Nyanya. No, Guilty. We Case can't. closed. Defense, are you ready? No. The defense is not ready. Shut up, defendant. Defense, are you ready? If it hadn't been wearing that, it would have been killed. Makes sense. Prosecution, are you ready? <laughs> Always. Alright. It looks like you don't have anyone in your corner today. So uh, we're going to have to ask you to defend yourself. Prosecution, would you uh, like to give your opening statement? Yeah, uh, they did it. Uh, Got it. Case closed. Perfect. 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 Wait, wait, Defense. Wait. Uh, uh. Well, there's a flowers in the chat. And an Ashley Arcade. Welcome and in an flowers. Ashley Arcade. And Hi, Ashley. Ashley Hi, Arcade. Flowers. How are y'all doing? Oh, sorry. Why and I, I saw flowers vent. Flowers vent. Whoa, 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 whoa! Flowers vented. Yeah. We're gonna have to look into that one, but uh, back to the trial of one Nya Nico being sus. I'm in danger. Uh, well, if you didn't do it, then who did? Huh? Well, prosecution, prosecution. Don't get ahead of yourselves. Will you like to call on your first witness? Yeah, I called the off. Okay, and yeah, please step up to the sand. Can I refuse? No. No. Well... You see I'm innocent? Okay, that makes sense. Okay, sounds well, right. if you're... If you're innocent, then who did do it, huh? That, that's a question. That is a question. Well, you see, I'm not getting Dang. paid to answer that question. That question's gonna If you don't answer though. that question, you're getting arrested right that here. Sounds right like now. it's going you to arrest. the judge. Yeah, it sounds like she did but it to me. I would like to oh, submit God, that it back. was Gumshoe. Guy, happy you right back. It's submission, uh, submission what denied. What evidence you have it with Gumshoe? Yeah, prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it was Gumshoe. Uh, well, Gumshoe isn't denying it right now. Well, Flowers said that you sound guilty, so... I'm just gonna slap yeah, the well, gavel Flowers down on this case it. here. Of course I would say Hold I'm on. guilty. Hey, hey, hey. Order in the court. Order. <laughs> I... There is only chaos. Oh, Take her away! Take her, she's done! Take her away! Sess, this case is over. Take her away. She did it. It was her. It was them. Case closed. Them did it. I mean, it was. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. I did it. I didn't mispronoun someone. Please don't, please don't arrest me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, 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 it was <laughs> the dog did it. It was my dog. It wasn't me, I swear. Are we turning this on Alice now? Is, is Alice arrested now? 
You know, we have a game to be playing. We've yeah. taken a lot of. Oh uh, yeah, whoa, yeah. Whoa, you whoa, stopped. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The... You started. Where'd it go? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, wait a minute. I did start this stream. You're right. I'm a judge. <laughs> Come on. Oh no, I'm getting cancelled again. Do we want to continue without me today? For a bit? Uh, sure. Is, is me, Serene, not here? No, they left. They said they'd be right back. Yeah. Oh. We could probably continue. Yeah, F's and Bob. Go ahead, Ron. Actually, hold on, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Just the... kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, but no, uh, 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 I, I, I did read this. I oh, did yeah, try to move us along. You were on trial for this one. You're on trial, so. If I had been wearing that, I would have been killed. And I came to Mr. Bullet was lying there dead. I will take over for, uh, for Bob. I see. Suddenly hit on the forehead, huh? I believe the detective from yesterday provided similar testimony. He said that Mass Star the Mass struck him on the head from behind. Of course, since Abney turned out to be the culprit himself, that was all a lie. Ha. No one's going to believe a pathetic lie like that. Hey, drink water. Hey, hydrate. <laughs> hey, hey, hydrate. 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 You gotta listen to Alexa. Alexa said to do it. Yep. What are you saying? I really was attacked. Clack. We'll find out if what you say is true or not during the cross-examination. Got that, Mr. Trite? Don't go easy just because he's your client. Welcome back, Bob. We miss you. This is the Bob Supremacy. The Bob Supremacy? Oh no. Bob Supremacy. Endangered. If I see any sign that you are, I'll treat you to another cup of my special blend. You don't need to worry about assaulting me again, Mr. Godot. My lawyers are on it. I have faith in Ron. I know he didn't do it. He did it. He did it. He did, it was him. But the, ma but the magic lie detector said he didn't. <laughs> it didn't? I didn't see it. I didn't see those results. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. Same as before, you already read all this, so unless they add anything new, I'm not gonna force you to read this, okay? Oh, okay. Yep. Who was this suspicious shadow? If there were a thousand of me, and even one new, I tell you, trust me! Mr. 
Starting out of our collections is not helping with this case. Friendship? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, no. Like, if that's not that's not his Answer fault. The question. He literally doesn't. Wait, wait, shut, shut up, Gado. He doesn't <laughs> know. <laughs> Okay, then how was the victim Mr. Bullard at the time? What do you mean by how was he? Was he already dead? Was he still alive? Maybe he was the one who hit you in the first place. That's a good question. What do you think, Mr. Ray? Forget it. No, what the fuck? You can't just ask me that. Okay, that one. Yeah, no, answer the question. Hey, hey, answer the question. Your forehead? As soon as I on the forehead, as soon as I entered the room. That was an amazingly fast and powerful Attack! Do you remember anything about who hit you? Like I said, it was a fast and powerful hit. So I think I was dazed for a little while. I don't think that Mr. Delight can even grasp what you're thinking, asking. Yeah, I'd like to show him a fast and powerful attack myself. Maybe that'll knock some sense back into him. What if he just doesn't know <laughs> what his forehead is? <laughs> <laughs> like he's been saying forehead this whole time, but he thinks it's in the back of his head. Well, I mean, what if he mistakes- yeah, 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 you're right, actually. What if he mistakes the front of it, like, the, like, top part of the head as the forehead? Yeah. You know? But we saw Yon's shadow. We did see Yon's shadow. Wait a minute, we don't know it was my shadow yet. No, it was You shadow. already guilty. Yeah. Yeah, guilty. I'm in danger. My head! Yeah. That. Can you please clarify what you are referring to? Well, my mask start a mask costume, of course. Wait, wait just a minute. Mask start a mask. Aww. Oh, did I forget to mention it before? <laughs> just to be on the safe side, I dressed as Mask start a mask. Why? Why? And then, I dis descended upon the office of the CEO of KB Security. What? what? <laughs> You're being very helpful. Heck, <laughs> did you know about this? He never told me this. I don't recall him ever mentioning it to me either. Fuck. <laughs> Even I didn't know that. It seems our little friend really loves to keep secrets. I'm sorry. I just never had a chance to mention it up until now. Wait. That's not right. Um... You know how Santa 
sometimes things just slip your mind. Yeah. My sixth cup of coffee is staring up at me coldly. Which blend is this? At any rate, we can't ignore this new piece of information. Witness, please correct your testimony. I'd have been killed if I hadn't been wearing my mask start a mask costume. Why were you dressed up as Mask Star the Mask? I... because I Mask Star the Mask, of course. What are you talking about? Mask Star the Mask trial is being held next door. Uh, yes, I... I guess so. Anyway, at that time, I thought I was being blackmailed over the mask stardom mask issue. So I thought I should go as him, just to be safe. The very dumb idea. <laughs> That makes that just literally no sense, Ron. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? This is how you get, like, arrested. You're going into a security firm that's been fighting you in this persona for the longest time. And you're going there dressed as this persona. You're like, hey. Hey, it's me. Hey, look. Hey. That also explains why he kind of got, you know, smashed over the head. It could be an explanation as to that. Maybe they thought it was... Maybe they were like, hey, it's Mask Star the Mask. <laughs> Fucking bonk. <laughs> you know what, does it explain that? Yeah. Let me tell you. It's a real pain to move around with that cape. <laughs> what does it explain? If he was knocked out by the kid that he got, he would have been arrested on the spot, no? Yes. I'm trying to use too much logic. But no, 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 no. <laughs> there... Mizune is right, so that means that it wasn't a security guard that knocked him out. Because he was able to stay underground for how many hours before waking up? Yeah. In the security form, dress dash mask or the mask? Mm-hmm. Quite a while. It was definitely Naya. It was Nia. Yeah. That's why it took a lot longer than I'd expected. I yeah, but I thought they established the security guy wasn't actually there. I don't think they did. Wasn't he off doing something else? Bullard? Oh, you mean Larry. Larry. Yeah, no, he was he was off doing something. You're right. I don't count Larry as a security guy. Larry's just there. <laughs> he certainly doesn't do his job. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, it took a lot longer. What was he thinking about? Let's press harder. What's he talking about? What do you mean by took a lot longer? Oh, opening the safe, of course. My cape got caught on the safe door, you see? What do you mean? This all happened when I was hiding Mr. Bullard's body. So he was dead already. Why would that- Back up a second. <laughs> yes? You 
you for the one who had a body in the face? Um, well... Yeah? Inconceivable. Why? Just why? What reason could you have? What were you thinking? Head empty. <laughs> Question. When does someone toss their dirty shorts in the washing machine? When they take them off. As usual, I have no idea what you're saying. Mr. Delight hid the body because he's the murderer? <laughs> so, you're not as stupid as you look. His metaphor this time was really obscure. Mr. Wright, you don't mean that you knew about this whole safe business, do you? <laughs> well, you see about that. Why am I the only one not in the loop here? Funk. Witness, make sure you add this to the testimony. Yes, sir. Uh oh. Looks like a storm front is moving in over the Fairweather Drudge. Uh oh. I panicked and hit the body in the safe. It took about 10 minutes. Why did you hide the body in the safe anyway? Well, because it would have been in a drawer. Uh, that's not exactly what I meant. When I saw the corpse, I kinda lost it. I thought, if they find his corpse, they'll think I did it. Ah, uh, I think you had a simpler reason than that. Because you killed him. That's why you spent ten minutes hiding the body. Hmm. Mm, that certainly makes more sense. Uh, hold on. Ten minutes? What is it, Nick? I just had a thought. Under those circumstances, you would normally try- would you normally try to hide the body? And spend ten whole minutes to do it? Under those circumstances? 
What circumstance? Oh. Yeah, that's right. Um, hey, Nick, if you think his behavior was so strange, why don't you present some evidence that would just show what those circumstances were? That's it. I'll take a look at the court record and present some evidence. Evidence? What is we this evidence crap? Yesterday, did we? I don't know what evidence is. There's not much in this testimony either. I bet you he's still hiding something. I wouldn't be surprised. We'll just have to draw it out of him. I just hope he doesn't make things any more complicated. You had to jinx it, Maya. Okay, so I think we go to the last one. Took 10 minutes to open the safe. We go to present. We do have evidence. I do remember this. So the buzzer was going off, right? Yes. It went off at 102. So he would have had like an alarm going off while he tried to fucking fiddle at the sink for 10 minutes, right? I Unless guess. it's a silent alarm, I guess. But it wasn't because we saw what happened. Yeah. No, it, it buzzes and makes a bunch of noise. <laughs> yeah, he would have known. But. Larry, or he did say that it did go off. Yeah, it did. That's what this uh, record is. Larry did say that, right? No, Larry tried to yeah. tell us that it didn't go off. And then we fucking uh, did Larry's job for him. Larry tried to tell us it didn't because he went there. Yeah. There was no way for um, Ron to know that. All Ron would have known in that 10 minutes of like buzzer sound was that there was a buzzer going on and someone was going to be alerted. And he still wasted 10 minutes to open a safe and put a body in. Yeah, that's kind of sus. Your Honor, will you please take a look at this record? And what might this be? The record for the emergency buzzer that connects the CEO's office to security. If the button in the office is pressed, a security team is supposed to come running. Uh. According to this record, the buzzard was pushed once at 1.02 a.m. What? If Mr. Ron Delight truly was the murderer, he would have ran as soon as that buzzer sounded. After all, a security guard would have been heading his way. Let's remember who we're dealing with here. He probably had no idea there were security personnel in the building. Are you kidding? Up until one year ago, my client was working as a chief of security for KB Security. There's no way he wouldn't have known about them. But, as it turns out, the guard never came. 
That was nothing more than a coincidence. The fact that the guard was a pathetic loser, who had just gotten punched in the face by his ex's new boyfriend, and wasn't anywhere in the vicinity was not something Mr. Delight could have known. Crap. Again, remember who we're dealing with here. Fuck you, Gudo. It's a sure bet that Mr. Delight didn't even notice the buzzer going off. Objection. The buzzer is extremely loud. There's no way he could have ignored something like that. If he had been conscious, that is. Bob. Conscious? What do you mean by that? Fine. Let's hear your theory. Recall the defendant's testimony. The moment he entered the victim's office, someone attacked him. Mr. Delight said he felt dazed. I'm willing to wager that he was knocked unconscious for at least a few minutes. Unconscious, so he fainted. That's why Mr. Delight didn't know that the buzzer had sounded. And that's why he had thought he had time to hide the body. So, so what are you trying to say? Mr. Delight was knocked out, and the buzzer went off soon afterward. Now, unless my client was able to hit the butter, what, buzzer while he was still unconscious, it can only mean that there was one other person in the room. That's right, whoever it was, they knocked out Ronda Light and then pressed the buzzer. Order in the court, Mr. Wright. This, this is the truth. This is preposterous. It was this kid. You think so? Ron Delight is the one who killed Kane Bullard. You sure? You sure about that? Truly. Then who pressed the buzzer? It, it was... The victim, of course. He pressed the buzzer when the defendant attacked him. He had died right away. He must have held him long enough to push that button. So Kane Bolo designed the buzzer himself. Yeah. What's your opinion on this, Mr. Wright? I need to prove that the real criminal was there at the scene, but how? Can I prove that it wasn't Kane Bullard who sounded the buzzer? Sure. Of course you can, after saving. I can, I can prove this. After saving? Good idea. No saves required. I can prove this. Oh, I can prove it alright. Can you prove it? Yeah, yes, I can. can. Yes, we can. <laughs> the defense's opinion. The piece of evidence proves that it wasn't the victim who sounded the buzzer. Connected to the basement security guard office, there are no fingerprints on this button. Oh, maybe. I believe this is the piece of incontrovertible 
What incontrovertible evidence you were looking for? It's a big board. The, the emergency buzzer? Is there some kind of clue on it? Lack thereof. Absolutely not. Hey, come on now. At least give some thought to what you say before opening your mouth. The fact there are absolutely no clues is itself the clue. Now I'm the one who's clueless. That's not you, hun. Relax. Hey! Not you, but also you. <laughs> this button has no fingerprints on it. If Mr. Bullard had really pressed it himself, naturally he would have left his fingerprints behind. <laughs> Ooh! R Ron Delight obviously wiped them off! You're reaching. <sighs> Why would he? A guard would have come in at any moment. He, he touched that button! I know he did! The defendant, Mr. Delight, who was dressed as Master the Mask. And Master the Mask always wears gloves. What reason could he possibly have had to wipe the button free of fingerprints? It would seem... I've been forced to eat crow. Hey, crows are birds. They might be tasty, right? Yeah. Mm. The real questions. I wonder what brand number crow flavored coffee is. However, the real killer was there at the scene. Why would that person press the emergency buzzard? Shouldn't they have run away without putting themselves in extra danger? <laughs> Which was this awkward silence all of a sudden? Ah, looks like your fresh out parlor tricks. There aren't you, Nick. Just, just give me a minute to collect my thoughts. The real culprit killed Mr. Bullard around 1 a.m. And the light just happened to waltz in when the murder was taking place, right? The killer clobbered the light and then sounded the buzzer. Even though security was supposed to respond right away, the buzzer was pressed. Security was supposed to respond. Time's up, Mr. Wright. Let's hear what you have to say. Very well, then. Oh, you've got some guts. I like that in an opponent. Why did the real killer sound the emergency bettered? 
They didn't mean to, to call the security guard to find out what it did. To call the security guard, of course. The killer knew that if they pressed the button, a guard would come running. And that was exactly what they wanted. Do you mean that the killer called the guard on purpose? Yes, although as it turned out, he never showed up. Because he was getting his crackling that time. Sorry, one more time. Because he was getting his crackling at the time. Ah, what a touching story. You're saying the killer had a change of heart and called the guard to turn himself in? Eat a K book. No, no I'm not. When that buzzer sounded, there were three people in that office. The victim, Kane Bullard, was already dead. The defendant, Ron Delight, who was out cold. And the third person, the real killer. Hypothetically, yes. Now then, in this situation, if the real killer made an escape, what would happen? Someone cares or the the only ones left in the room would be victim Ron. This button is impressive. Sorry about taking a bit here. Yeah, that was precisely the real killer shot. The frame ran the light for the murderer. Order, 
Order, order. Huh. It would seem... It would seem... I've been made to eat my words once again. Actually, you've been made to do that at spit take with a cup of coffee. The one and only is masks start the masks. So... Are you okay? Did we read this? Yeah. yeah. Yes? No, I didn't hear it. Hmm? Nick, you mean the real killer is? We're going to drag that person in here right now. Any solid proof yet? But think about it. The killer knew Mr. Delight's identity, and they also knew he had been called the KB security that night. So the killer used him to execute a well-crafted plan to kill Kane Bullard. Hmm. Nothing. Yeah. That's your, your accusation, Mr. Wright. Sure. Who was it? It was none other than yeah. How yeah. could you? Yeah, how could you? How could you? Criminal. I, <laughs> I wonder what happens if you just say mask here. <laughs> it was master the mask. That'd be funny. We're gonna go at me. Detective Luke at me. 
He's the only one who could have done it. If you really think about it. You mean Master the Mask did it? Your Honor, the person being tried in the court next door to us is not Master the Mask at all. He is in actuality the true murderer of Kane Bullard. Order, order! Mr. Wright, explain yourself! Theft. And right. murder. Which is the more serious crime? <sighs> They're not even close. Murder is the most serious crime, of course. It is a capital crime subject to a capital punishment. Please remember the trial from yesterday if you would. When Luke at me confessed, there was a huge commotion in the courtroom. Of course. A famous detective was a masked as... Well, as masks star the masks. Instead of being convicted of murder, he was found guilty of grand larceny. That was his true objective all along. To be found guilty? Master the Mask had the perfect alibi for when the murder took place. He was stealing the urn at Lord Dilly Taylor. In other words, Meow. being found guilty as Master the Mask was Luke at me's airtight, watertight, and unassailable alibi. A guilty verdict? That's an alibi! That's wild. That me is smart, actually. You know, it's almost time. For, for what? For my special blend, of course. <laughs> hey, yo, it's Keto. Hi, Keto. Hi! Welcome in, Hi, Keto! Panda. panda? What do you mean, Panda? It's Keto. Is it right there? In the name? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, cause Panda would prove that it's Panda. Yeah, yeah, Panda would prove that it's yeah. Panda and not lurk for D&D. Have fun lurking D&D, not Panda. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Rose. Time for Luke Atme's verdict. It was a pretty simple trial, after all. If we're going to stop this trial and stall that one, we need to do it now. Of course. That's assuming you have proof that the detective was the one who committed the murder. What's this proof nonsense? Never heard of it. Mr. Luke got me trial has indeed attracted the attention of the entire country. If we were to intrude and fail to provide adequate proof of his true crime, Mr. Delay would be left with no grounds for appeal. Am I really sure about this? Ha! But that's only good when your life's the empty. I agree. That's, dude, that's bad. No. Mr. Wright! I... I've 
believe in you. <laughs> Mr. Delight. So, so, so please, I'm begging you. Thanks, but my decision will determine the rest of your life. Can I really risk your life like this? Phoenix. What? what was that? Don't stray, Phoenix. For your client, take the path of trust. That, that voice, it sounds like... Mia! Your Honor, the defense who requests an immediate recess. Ha! So, that's your answer, huh? Very well, I've decided that's well. This court will now take a 20 minute recess. Mr. Wright will return. Please summon Mr. Luke at me to the stand. Yes, Your Honor. Kai's in chat. Hi, Kai! Hi, Kai! Hi, Kai! Kai says, I apologize for being late. There was a TP, all dungeons, Tasks being streamed, and I had to watch it. Did you pick up any cool tasks only strats that you're gonna make viable? That is fair enough. We were also late. Yep, by like 10 minutes. No worries, Kai. You are entirely fine. You have other things to do. That is okay. You have other things to do, like being a worm. How is your worm today? Shall we continue? Shall we? Or shall we take a quick recess ourselves? Uh, can I, uh, I was about to suggest that. Okay. I'm down for a quick recess. I can go take my dog out real quick. Shall we? Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll come back in about 10-ish minutes or so. Okay. See you then. Yep. It is 4.13, so 4.23. Sounds good? Yeah. Sounds good. All right, yeah, go take your breaks. Worms around. No. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. Love you, Kai. We'll be right back. We're going to take the quickest of quick little breaks, and we'll be back soon. Okay? Here we go. Burp. I'll be back.
Interesting. So it was the TV doing shit to the output and not a capacitor problem. Interesting. So it was a TV doing shit to the output and not a capacitor problem. Got yeah, that's it. Good. That's good. Also, well, hi, I'm hi. back. Hello. I'm hi. back. Dog went out and I got cheesecake. Damn it, Ashley. No. Yeah. I see that the real keto has made a nest of pillows and blankets in a corner and is relaxing and we have some super hard warming now 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 there's a dragon <laughs> we've evolved oh my god oh shit actually i'm not back yet is uh nya back yet no okay i'm gonna give it another two minutes i gotta go grab my dog's water that i forgot My dog needs to be hydrate. Hydrate the dog. And I'm back. Do we have Nya back? Rose? Yes, okay, Nya is back. Shall we continue? Is everyone back? Yeah. Is Bob We're back? Here. Bob was here. I thought Bob was yeah. here. Okay, I think we're good then. Yeah, sure. Let us continue. October 14th, 11.58 a.m. District Court, dog stop, dog stop, dog, just calm the fuck down. Courtroom number five. Stop. Stop. No. Wait, who's pain? I don't think anyone pays. He's not. He's just here for like three seconds. Go for it. <laughs> Whoa, sir, detective at me. <laughs> I have to say, Mr. Ping, you perform splendidly. Oh no, Sir Detective at me. You are the one who... That's enough. <laughs> the is court sees bed? no reason to further prolong this trial. Yeah, I'm getting it. Oh hey, first appearance of Canadian judge. This court finds the defendant look at me. Well, well, sir lawyer, come to my courtroom. Well, well, sir lo- Hello? Was I muted for that or unmuted? Unmuted. Cool. Cool. What's this, Hosea? Hey. My name is Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. And I wish to file an accusation against this man. Look at me. Accusation, you accuse Max Star the Mask. That man is not Max Star the Mask. 
He's just a ruthless murderer! What? What is that? Wall you the arms around? <laughs> you peeked the mic there, by the way. Alright. Okay. It's a worm, but better. Is it a worm, but better? Is it really? Obviously. Is that an upgrade to a worm? It's like the Pokemon evolution of a worm. Interesting. <laughs> my dog wants my cheesecake. Giving you cheesecake? Oh, I want no. cheesecake. No. I want your cheesecake. No. October 14th. Well, come over and then you can have some. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. Also, bring in ingredients for another one. <laughs> October 14th. I have those. <laughs> Too bad. Guess we're not getting cheesecake. 12 14 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 4. My sir. I could have sworn I heard Mia's voice. So then she stands alive inside your heart. <laughs> Nicky boy! Yugi boy! Oh, Mr. Light! <laughs> is it true that Detective is the real killer? To be honest. We don't have any definite proof. He's the only one who could have done it. But wasn't he at Wardley Taylor that night? Not to mention, we don't exactly know his motive. <laughs> I mean, why would Detective Abby <laughs> want to kill the Kane Bullard? Oops, it's almost time. <laughs> Better go back into the courtroom. Woof woof. I need to find some solid proof. And it's got to happen sooner rather than later. October 14th. 12.21 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, or Courtroom Number 6. Now then, this court is back in session. Mr. Lugami, please take the stand. <laughs> My dog is so annoying. I put the cheesecake down for a second, and she, she, like, it disappears. The second I make a movement to pick something up, she's back at me trying to bite me and like scratch at me to give her something. It's like, fuck you, no. That, no. No. I would do the same thing. Bap. Me? Oh yeah, I've been forsaken. Well, well, how do you do, sir lawyer? I never would have thought to see you acting so recklessly. Why did he still have his magnifying glass? Why would they take it away? Why wouldn't they? 
I mean, it just could be used as a weapon, screwdriver, or any other sort of tool. I mean... Yeah, nothing too dangerous. Francisca's allowed to have a weapon, so... Why? Why not a criminal? Why not Luke? I couldn't let them hand down your verdict just yet. That one would have given you your perfect alibi. An alibi by the name of Mask Star to Mask. I'm sorry, I'm afraid even the great Luke at me has no idea what you mean. Of course, I've been in the next courtroom ever since 10 o'clock this morning. Welcome back, train boy! I'm afraid there's no way I can know what's been going on in here. Welcome back, train boy. You've been in the defendant's seat all day long, correct? Being tried as star to mask, star to mask, to mask, to star to mask. Um. Okay, what? Indeed, it's truly child's play to fool the ignorant masses. Not only did the poor fools ask me to protect their valuables, they even gave me a generous reward upon returning them property to them. Take this red diamond ring that sparkles upon my divine finger, for example. Hope you're doing well. Please ignore the, uh, the worminess. There's, um, a little bit of a worm wriggling around you in circles, but, uh, it's okay. It's probably safe. It might be poisonous. We might have to get that checked out. We might have to call some exterminators, but it's okay. It's fine. Uh, Alice, that's clearly a woolly herb. A woolly herb. My bad, my bad. I'm sorry. Are they poisonous? I don't know. <laughs> Are they dangerous? I mean, anything's dangerous if you try hard enough. It'll be fine. Train boy, I'm just gonna need you to sign right here, saying that if anything happened to you via Woolly Worm, it is not, um, we are legally not responsible. Anyway, while you signed that, so you continue to exist that you insist that you are in fact Mask Star the Mask. Of course! Bob. Very well then, you got me. Let's begin with a simple question. <laughs> On October 12th... <clears throat> At 1 a.m., Cain Bothered was murdered. Can we just appreciate how his tongue is sticking out? Blech. It's very funny. <laughs> it's a blip. Blip. Where were you at this time? Don't worry, train boy. We are confused, too. One without knowledge lacks even the knowledge of that he should be ashamed of himself. Don't worry. I will not hold it against you, Sir Judge. Uh... Thanks? Alright, Mr. Atme. The night of the murder. Speak! We're all ears. As long as we're all confused together, train boy, it's fine. 
As you wish, Sir Prosecutor. Witness testimony, the alibi. I was still in the urn as Mass saw the mask just as I announced I would. I had more than enough time to prepare. It was a pathetically easy job. A photograph contains no words, but in this case, one turned out to be my witness. The time at which the camera captured Mass Star to Mass was the same time as the murder. I do know about the murder, though. I mean, we did burst in the accused of a murder. Fair enough, but how did he know that it occurred at 1 p.m.? Or 1 a.m.? Hmm. Curious. Curious. Hmm. It seems the main point of discussion will be this photo at the crime scene. Everything else up till now is all part of his plan. There has to be a secret to this picture as well. <laughs> Even the great mask star the mask cannot be in two places at once. Now then, if you'll excuse me, I have a verdict to receive. Unfortunately, Mr. Acme. We still have to do your cross-examination. A fool! It's too foolish to know that he is a fool. I think what he's trying to say is that... You're full of it, Nick. <laughs> is everyone feeling okay? After the yeah. moment. Why? Yeah. Okay. Right. How do you feel? I'm feeling alright. You're feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. feeling alright. Yeah, I'm feeling alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm not a worm. I'm just trying to make all sure right. I'm the worms in the stream team right now. Fuck. What? what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what is your giggle? Hey, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, hey! Now, what are we laughing at? I mean, if one of us was a worm, we'd know, right? Everybody did the fuck. I yeah. think Nya is sus. Nya vented. Nya vented. Um, I'm weird that no one knows you're a dog, you know? Hey, hey, hey. We don't Everybody have to talk about that. Whoa, what? I would just like to say, I can't even fit in the vents. What do you mean you can't fit in the vents? I can't fit in the vents. Why not? Because I'm too short. That would make you perfect to fit in the vents. No. Nope. Yeah? Bunny nope. sus. Sus. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. The only thing that is full of it is his alibi. Cross examination. The alibi. Well, as usual, we read all this already, so I'm not going to bother with it. I'm just going to continue with the pressing, and if anything new gets added, I will say it out. So this photograph is the proof, correct? Indeed it is! And the man in the photo is certainly wearing a mask.
That is why I'm called Master the Mask. Conveniently, that also means there's no way to tell who this really is. What do you mean? That chat message is sus. Yeah, have you been? Have you been weirdified? <laughs> I was right. I was right. It's been yeah the whole time. Yeah, it's the fucking uh, traitor. Yeah, yeah, it's the worm. Yeah, it's the worm. Get her. Get him. Wait, is the get them? Is the worm bad? I'm just gonna be tried for grand cable eating. <laughs> Are... Are worms bad, or are worms friends? Well, worms are friends, but... What about a warrior? Is that a friend? A warrior worm. Interesting. They don't seem to be causing trouble. Yeah, as long as, as, long as y'all are Maybe fine. Maybe they are friends. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens when yeah it starts causing mischief. We'll but that would just be normal. Now. That wouldn't be any different from usual. Don't worry, you won't have to worry about it too long. What? Huh? No, well, I guess take it away, Godot. Ha! Huh. Are you saying this is not, in fact, look at me? That could be an accomplice dressed up as Mask Sarda Mask to create an alibi? No. Y'all yeah, just assigned Williams as evil. I we did not. I said they might be friends. I said I have no information about what a Williams is. And I only implied that I specifically am. I think we could conclude that they are friends. I think I have the proof in my, uh, in my court record. We are able to oh, get special powers, though. Like what? Hmm, interesting idea. Are you saying that I, Lone Wolf Fluke, had an accomplice? No. I don't think they did have an accomplice. It was Pearl. She did it. It was Pearl. It was Pearl. Oh, she's nine. It was Pearl. Pearl did it. Yeah, because she's nine years old. Yeah, nine years old. Uh. I don't think he had an so alibi. So when it masks got star to mask, since he was probably writing other blackmail letters to him? Do you think it would be Ron? I have Ron no was idea. at KB at the time. Yeah, we're, we're talking about... The powers are classified? Got it. I mean, in I general, the answer would be Ron, right? That Ron would have been his accomplice. Because, like, he had been having him do things. If that's the assumption Perhaps. we're going by. Is it Ron, maybe? Or Masks Star the Mask themselves? Um, Masks Star the Mask is, Mask is Ron. Yes, I know, I know. But I mean... 
It had to be Ron, right? I mean, I get it. Look at me as I keep security during the murder. The master of the mask in this picture has to be a fake. Or the picture's fake. You had an accomplice. Now remember you said that, Mr. Trite. Because there's no going back. If you're making baseless claims, I'll treat you to a penalty myself. The penalty is probably boiling hot to- oh fuck, go ahead. Penalty is probably boiling hot too. So who is it, Mr. Trite? Who was the accomplice? What is the A button on a controller? <laughs> what kind of controller? What is the A button on the PlayStation 4 controller? Would it be... X? That would be the X. The X button. A on uh, an Xbox controller is equivalent to X on a PS PlayStation. Yeah. Uh, this picture looks weird. Well, he doesn't have the emblem on his uh, shirt, which is what initially established him as a fake. Aside from that, the patterns in the paint are kind of weird. <laughs> How am I going to know what these powers are? Do they hurt? What are they? I'm getting woolly armies! Help! You're assuming that's maybe, bad? Maybe yeah, they're I'm good assuming. powers! Yeah, maybe it, maybe it's like beneficial. Maybe it's like a, like a regen over time. It's a buff. Yeah, it's a buff. My only crime is Grand Cable Eating. Yeah, you're already gonna go to prison for that one. Eat more cables. Kicks the cat. Alright. That box doesn't look painted, but I don't know. I said that last yeah. time, but we were saying it yeah. could be the back of it. You have yeah. to present a profile here. <laughs> it's not this one. It was this person? Ah! That's quite the prank you're trying to pull. Do you have any evidence that this person is, in fact, the accomplice? Wh well, I mean... The, the aura! The aura that this person has around them is... If you're going to judge someone by their aura... You'd be right up there as the number one suspect, Mr. Wright! Uh, My life points! The judge says your aura sucks. <sighs> I jumped the gun on that one. Should we try again? Maybe try at me's profile instead? Could at me have been his own accomplice? Yes. Well, let's continue and see if there are any more well, That's why I was thinking past. Mask started a mask as his... I think it's Ron. Right. 
Both of those are valid yeah. claims, but let's, you know what, let's just try to continue without doing that. See if it lets yeah. us. Bully army powers depend on the chaos level. What's the chaos level? I don't get it. The chaos level is all high, Alice. Don't be ridiculous. It's what? They're always high. Mm. Chaos levels are always high. Then what, what does it do? That's right! That was over 20 days ago, if I'm not mistaken. You sent the calling card to Lordly Taylor 10 days before the heist. That would mean that you sent out the card after you began your security watch, right? Indeed, there was no reason why I couldn't do both jobs at once. It was the perfect opportunity to steal my latest target. I see, you truly are evil, aren't you? Keyboard Warriors Unite? Yeah, sorry about that. Is that me? Yes, evil is what I am. Hey Nick, isn't there something odd about this? Give me one second, I'm sorry, I gotta finish this response. This response is actually kind of important. Go, Ozzy, go! Go, Ozzy, go! Go, Ozzy, go! <laughs> The Kalos? What's the Kalos level? What the fuck is that? Y'all are weird. I don't know what's happening anymore. Okay. Done. Sorry about that. He was always part of his ace detective skills, right? But if the owner stole it from Lordy Taylor while he was the only one watching it, he'd have no way to maintain his perfect ace detective persona. Hey, it's Chungus! Hey! That wasn't the person I was responding to and letting know I was streaming at all! Hey, how's it going? Yo, I fucking love Big Chungus. It's been so fucking long. Nah, you remember Chungus? Yes! Hello! Hello. Big, big Chungus, Big Chungus. Big it's been chungus. so long. Hope you're doing right. Big, big chungus, big chungus. Oh my god. We're doing a little bit of uh, Phoenix Wright, Trials and Tribulations say We're on the second trial, and we are going along with some friends of mine. We got Rose. Hello. Of twitch.tv forward slash the longest Rose. We have Nya. I'm in danger. Of twitch.tv sl forward slash Nico Nya Nya. And we have Bob. It's Cables. Bap. Bap, bap, bap. Of 
Twitch.tv forward slash Bob Takayashi. I'm sorry, Mizune hey! Takayashi. And you wonder why I eat your cables. Hey, you've done this long before. You initiated this one. You've been forcing me to buy new HDMIs every week for the past year. Uh, oh, I haven't been cheering on the HDMIs yet. Thanks for reminding me. Yum. Bap. Anyway. Hey. It's nice to see you, Chungus. Welcome to my YouTube channel, which I stream on every Sunday. Big, big killer. How's everyone doing tonight? I'm doing alright. I'm just kind of chilling. <laughs> you know, just. I exist. Mm -hmm. I exist. Yep. You know. That's true. It is kind of odd. Photograph contains no words, but in this case, one turned out to be my witness. So by photograph, you mean uh, this one that makes me laugh? Every time I look <laughs> at it? That was bad, I was... Uh huh? <laughs> you mean this piece of evidence right here. Is that correct? Indeed it is! That is it! The very thing that proves I committed the crime! The very thing that proves you committed the crime. When you think about it, it's really odd. You say that almost as if you had this picture taken on purpose. Objection. He was simply caught by the very camera that he had set up. I don't know about that. How are you doing, Chungus? How have you been? We all have days like that. Elsie is suspicious and not for will you learn me reasons. What do you mean? Guys, I didn't vent. It wasn't me. <laughs> it was, I swear it wasn't me. Safe video of Elsie venting. Hey, hey, where did you get that? That's not me. That's a worm. That's nya. Meow? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Want to point out the ears on that picture? Look, look, look at it. Look at it. You see it, right, Rose? Those are warm ears, not no, bunny ears. I don't. What do you mean? I didn't do the murder. I bunny ears to me. Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't do the murder. I swear. It wasn't mm, me this I... time. It wasn't me this time. I want to mm. believe you, Alice. Listen. The bunny ears. I didn't murder this time. It wasn't me. This time? Yeah, this time. So who did you do last time? That's not what we're on trial for right now. Can't bring up past trials. There's a law for that. Yeah, not past the statute of limitations, though. I mean, there, 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 there's a law for that. You can't bring up a, you can't bring up a trial that already happened. <laughs> anyway. Super busy, doing well. Nice. Nice! Glad to hear it. What kind of stuff you got going on? Still doing school stuff? Indeed, it turned out that there was no such thing as the perfect crime after all. Life is truly an ironic thing. Sad blue melody. It looks like I'd better gather more information for now. If he's truly the killer, there's gotta be something phony in that photo. The time at which the camera captured Mash Start Mash was the same time as the murder! Tons of school actually, nice. <laughs> You've been passing your classes though, right? <clears throat> About the camera that took this photograph. Oh, come now, it's all too clear for what you're thinking. 
Huh? You think I altered the timestamp on the photograph, don't you? I'm afraid that's impossible. Your camera was set up by Lord Lee Taylor. And on top of that, it was Lord Lee Taylor's staff that created that picture's data. Unfortunately for the defense, there's no way that picture could have been altered. I see. I think everyone is in agreement that Elsie committed murder and it wasn't Wooly Arm in related. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, that's not really Basically. a. As long as we're not talking about this murder, yeah, I've committed murder before. It's fine. You can talk about that. She a bit of her. What do you mean, get her? What is murder a crime now? Get her! Hey, hey, hey! It is! Where? <laughs> like, yes! Everywhere. Since when? Since forever. What do you mean? What do you mean? Listen, I don't think I don't think I'm a criminal for that one, okay? We're gonna have to set up a trial for this. Uh, here we don't really go to school during senior year. We mainly rely on private lessons. Interesting. So you've just been getting, like, one-on-one -on -one lessons for stuff. Okay, makes sense. Well, I hope that it's all going well. <clears throat> it looks like I'd better find something else that could be suspicious. Yo, this alibi is false. Has to be. Or he couldn't have killed Mr. Bullard at KB Security. <clears throat> Bob. But I'm not really spotting anything unusual. There are two possibilities. <clears throat> Either the mask started the mask and the photo is fake, or the photo itself is. Should we try again? Who could it be though? I mean, we're already this far. Mm -hmm. Who would it be? Well, we don't have any more options, is the thing. Like, the only thing would be to present evidence on one of these. Maybe the photo? Should we present the photo, then? Maybe the box? Like you were saying? Maybe? I'll take you to Discord court, I'll see. Oh my god, when? I'm trying to- Yeah, time for saying the box. Yeah. The box? Just present the box? Present the box! Okay. Don't try to take it too far in terms of studying, though. I still watch YouTube videos and anime and sometimes some other stuff, too, but you don't watch my fucking streams. I stream five days a week. Four of those days are over at twitch.tv forward slash Alice Moonflower, and five of those days are right here on- or one of those days are right here on YouTube. What the fuck? Terrible. Ah, uh, the Worst. nine days of the week. The nine, <laughs> the nine days of stream week, yes. The nine days of the week. Objection! 
What do you think about the witness's statement, Your Honor? I think it was wrong. Um, I'm not sure I follow you. I'm kidding, Chungus. I understand you have stuff to do in your life. Thank you for showing up today, and I hope school continues to go well for you. How much of school do you have left? It clearly, er, contradicts the, um, I thought... You don't sound very sure, Mr. Bright. Objection denied. I don't think that won me any points with the judge. Try pressing that one statement, but then saying you don't have any evidence? Try what? Go back, press the first statement, or whatever, but when he asks you if he had an accomplice, tell him no? Okay. I, rarely, I have to rely on mobile data, which is the main reason I don't watch streams lately. I still have a good while to go. Hey, 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 don't watch the stream then. Don't watch the stream then. My bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, save your data. That's entirely understandable. Entirely understandable. So, this photograph is the proof, correct? Indeed it is. The man in the photo is certainly wearing a mask. Oh, that's why he's called Mask Star the Mask, of course. Anyway. No way to tell who that really is. Saying this non fact look at me. We've read all this. If Luke Yatme was at KB security during the murder, the mask or the mask in this picture has to be a fake. Right, Bob? Then there really was an accomplice. But right now, I have no idea who it was. Also, Big Chungus. Good luck with the rest of it. Hmm. I don't know if I have any idea right now either. Basis objections are just what the guy wants. There's gotta be another way. I'm going to find it. Hmm. Let's try pressing these again. Oh, what about the statue? Is different. You want me to present the statue as the accomplice? Wait. Wait. Mm -hmm. Detective oh. Batman was always part of his Yeah. Oh, no, we are right. Uh. Present the statue, you say? No, don't present it as the witness. What do you want me to present it as? Uh... Oh, maybe present the photograph. Wait, he says the photograph was the witness. Then see what Phoenix thinks. Presenting it as a witness? No, on the statement. Present the photograph when he mentions it. This one. Yeah, see what Phoenix thinks about it. Save first, because I'm not sure. I already have a save. Okay, good. No? Damn. Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. Alright, Dream Boy. No problem, Chungus. Go ahead, Bob. 
It does. I don't see anything contradictory. It does. Questionable mock. Hmm. Huh? Really? Ah. Sometimes he says, like, take another look at this photograph. And then you get to point it out, I, but I, I guess not this loud, time. You know? Maybe present it here. Maybe? No. No. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You feel that? Do you feel, do you feel that? Do you feel time? Time, it's- I feel that. It's- it's rewinding. It's rewinding all around. Whoa! 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 Anyway, that an easy job. I didn't mean to do that. I believe Adrian Andrews hired you at one point. That was over twenty games. Oh, we read this one. And there's four. I think that we have to present an accomplice. No, we don't have any evidence of, of anyone. Do we not? No. Don't we have Ron technically? Maybe? I don't know. Because Ron did say he was dressed as dark mask, the mask and he went in, right? No, I, I know what should happen and it's definitely not an accomplice. We're just not sure how we get there at the moment. Did we say him yet? Did we say Luke at me? What? No. It was this person. Oh, it's this again. Or a bit. Alright, let's try run. And we'll try going back to the other things again. Anytime, Chungus. He does have an accomplice. I mean, he really does. Ronis is accomplice. 
Yeah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be Ron, right? Well, I mean, not saying that for this specific case that Ron helped him do this. I'm saying that, in general, Ron is his accomplice. Because if he is the one who's been blackmailing Ron and sending him letters, you know. If we're going down that thread here. Or not. Okay, cool. Time again! Whoa! Whoa. Oh, oh. Hey. Oh, right. It happened again! So weird! So weird. Have you tried a mask start a mask yet? Yes. That was the first, that was one, the we first one we tried. Uh, uh, yeah, have we pressed on the photograph statement yet? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can do it again. What did he say? Uh huh? What did he say? I don't remember, let's find out. So by photograph, you mean this piece of evidence here, is that correct? Indeed it is! That's it, the very thing that proves I've committed a crime. The very thing that proves you committed the crime. Surely even you understand by now. Lordly Taylor provided the camera. There's no way I could have tampered with it. That means I could not have killed Kane, my lord. Unless I had an accomplice. Come on, think more and hard, long and hard about that night. The basement warehouse and the picture that it supposedly captures it. It's gotta be here. Isn't there something funny about this picture? You bet there is! Are you implying that this picture is a fake? You bet I am. There's definitely something strange about this picture. We took a look around the basement warehouse that night before the theft took place. And there's something in this photo that doesn't match my memory about that night. Boop. Very well. Then let's hear what you have to say. No. Well, there's no statue over here. There is indeed no statue. The funny part is hey, right here. It. Right here. Why this? This is a blood stain. <laughs> blood. Now this case is getting interesting. Uh, it sounds so weird. Not exactly. This stain is actually pink paint. Oh, just paint and peach color to that. From blood to peaches. The judge sure loves going on his weird chan wild tangents. The problem with this photograph is not the paint, your honor. The problem is when you consider the layout of the basement warehouse. It turns out that something should be there is nowhere to be seen. What's wrong, at me? Well, Mr. F well, boob. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright? What is supposed to be in this picture instead of the paint stains? It is supposed to be this. 
Pat, pat, pat. The supervisor of the treasure exhibit stated the following, Bap. Well, take it away. Well, there's a good reason for that. On the day of the crime around noon, that gold statue just happened to arrive from the mountain training call. I realized that the statue would be the perfect size for covering up the paint stains. That's why I put it where you first saw it. I myself was there at the night the theft took place. And I saw the statue in that spot. If this picture was truly taken on that night, then it should have been there. But when I went there the day after the theft, that statue of the old bag was sitting in the corner. Hmm, perhaps it was somehow pushed there accidentally. Your Honor, this statue is slightly larger than yourself and quite heavy. It would take more than an accidental push to move at that distance. Ah, in that case, can you prove it? Can you give us the crime and reason as to why that statue was moved that night? C can you do it, Nick? Never mind who moved it. The real question is why did they move it? Well, Mr. Vi, I hope you are prepared with your answer. Go ahead and read that boop. No? Okay. Now then, who is the one who moved the golden statue at the night of the crime? Didn't Adrian tell us that they moved it? I think. She moved it there. But someone moved it out of the way? I thought she said that she moved it out of the way. Oh, yeah. I think, maybe? No, they must want you to say what do you think, Mr. Godot? out of the way of where it was. Isn't there like yeah. a vent there? What? Isn't there, like, a vent in the picture? Yeah, why? Well, maybe that's why it got moved? I see vented. I don't think there's a vent that it was covering, no. Mm -hmm. Or what do you mean? Uh... Well, I don't really remember the exact placement of things, but I thought maybe they could have moved the statue to get to the vent. Or have better access to the vent. Possibly. It must have been at me who moved it. A man should be able to answer his own questions. That's what I think. Right now, I'm busy trying to grow up with two answers of my own. Why is coffee black? And why is it Bitter. But, but there's, Mr. there's answers Wright, to that. To put it simply, you've messed up. What are you doing, Nick? You need to think about why the statue was moved. The good thing about when everyone chews me out is that it gives me time to think. 
Now then, who were the one who moved the statue? I did not have a gun. The one who moved the statue is none other than Luke at me. Come now, sir lawyer. There you go again on one of your strange delusions. Mr. Vi, what basis do you have so for your strange delusions? It's very simple. My strange delusions dictate that the witness was the only one in the basement warehouse that night. That is indeed very simple, however... Why would I want to move a heavy golden statue? The reason for moving the statue, here's where our battle really begins. Well, Mr. Wright? What reason did the witness have to move the statue? The reason can be found here in this photograph. Look at me. You pretended to be Master Star of the Mass to create an alibi by showing you were at Lordly Taylor that night. This photograph contains a single fatal flaw. If the statue had been there, your lie would be exposed like cheap film at a drugstore. That's why you had to move the statue. A single fatal flaw. Interesting. Interesting theory. Please, enlighten us. Just swear in this picture does a lie exist. Yeah, that. Um. Any thoughts? Cat's there. Well, the statue was there on the night of the crime. Okay, are we repeating that? What in this picture is a flaw? My sanity! Big mood. Meryl. What? Hmm. I have no idea. Uh... It's a big chunk of when did, moved it to make when it did look move like how it Go ahead, Nya. Yeah. What were you saying? I was saying maybe he moved it to make it look like how it did the night before. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. They're implying that this is that night. That's the trick that we're going down right now. Right. So when did yeah, but this. What if he did this image the night before the crime? Interesting. Now, what in this photo would prove that it's a freaky lie? I have no idea. The, the time. <laughs> the timestamp doesn't say the date. Well, it doesn't, but that's what makes it so great. It... That could be almost 1 a.m. on any night. He's within a certain time days. frame of the paint. Except if the statue was there, then that picture would make it really obvious. 
to move the statue before Godot got there to make it look like it was everything was cool. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh, in danger. <laughs> Point at the time stamp, I guess. I think Kai is right. Because he's what? been there multiple what? days, right? Yeah. So he could have taken this picture whenever. When did that paint get spilled? Did she move it? Did Adrian move it directly after it happened? No. A Adrian moved the statue there as soon as it got there. She right. spilled the paint before. Right. So that means that he would have been there before. And he could have done that. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be the truth. Naturally. The lie in this photo is the timestamp. What do you mean? I'll tell you exactly what I mean. On the night in question, Luke Atme went to KB security and murdered Kane Bullard. Therefore, it's obvious. It would have been impossible for him to have been at Lord Lee Taylor at this time. But what does that have to do with the statue being moved? Remember, if you will, Your Honor, when was the statue placed beside the warehouse door? Well... The statue was taken down to the warehouse on the day of the crime. And it was placed there in order to cover up the paint. Exactly. Luke Atme had already decided on the time he was going to kill the victim. And so in order to create an alibi for that time, he took this picture days before the murder took place. But what the? Of course, the statue hadn't yet been brought down into the basement warehouse yet. Ah. So on the day of the crime, Mr. Atme must have been quite nervous. As nervous as a long-tailed cat in a rocking chair factory, so to speak. Why? Because something that wasn't supposed to be there had been brought down in place where it wasn't supposed to be. And that is why Luke Atme had to move the statue on the night of the murder. He did it to make the room match the way it had been in his photo. Order! Order! Mr. Atme, is this true? One moment, Your Honor. Have you forgotten this? What is that? The data for the basement warehouse computer. According to this, the camera did indeed go off on the night of the crime. It's true that the camera had been set up at the Lordly Taylor staff. However, the program used to manage that data was yours. That alone would allow you to tamper with the data. <laughs> ah! Order, order! Mr. Godot, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> Godot, I warned you about making me wait, now put that coffee down. My 11th cup. I've promised to drink no more than 17 during a trial. Where does he keep getting these? Is he just fucking making them here? <laughs> you wouldn't? I guess. You wouldn't? Yes. Which means 
I'm still good till the last drop. <laughs> However, the defense has a very good point. A good point? So what? We are all but travelers on the road of infinite point. Got his points mixed up by his other points. So, you say the scroll graph was taken ahead of time, and that the statue was moved in order to make it match. That's a very interesting idea. However, there's one point that can't be denied. Which is... That's only... A possibility. Men that are trapped by the chains of maybe... Could never reach their dreams. That's very true. What the fuck do you mean that's true? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that statement mean? What the fuck is it it sounds, it sounds deep and cool. It doesn't mean anything. It's not, it's a fucking bullshit statement. No way. Don't fall for it, your honor. Hey. Mr. Damask. Y yes? If there's no funny business in your actions as Mask Star Damask, there should be no problem with you telling us your strategy. So let's hear it. Yes, please provide this court with your testimony. About your plan to deal with the sacred urn. Urn. <clears throat> Boy. Your testimony. Your secret urn heist. I first received a request from Lord Nitaida about 20 days ago. The urn was placed in a box in Zavari. It was then sent to the warehouse. Hence, I was actually unable to see the urn for myself until the day of the crime. I knew it was an extremely valuable treasure, so I sent my guard 10 days beforehand. then handled security by myself to ensure that my crime would go smoothly. At last, I held the urn in my hand for the first time at 1am at October 12th. That's pretty much all the stuff we've heard before, isn't it? Yeah, but we'll find the truth hidden in the nuggets of new information he gave. Witness, make sure there are no mistakes this time. Zvari.
Very well then, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examinations. The Sacred Urn Heist Press You were asked to guard the urn by Miss Adrian Andrews, is that right? Indeed, it seemed as if Alice fucked up I see. Alice, Andrews. you can't get away without saying the words sparkling, sparkling reputation. So sparkling rep. That is Indeed, it seemed that they heard of my sparkling reputation. Yeah, that is what he said. There I you was go. stalling. You move on now. I was stalling until the the thing caught up. The YouTube caught up. Lama. I see. Miss Andrews is still attracting the weirdos. You'd better watch out too, Maya. And we'll place in a box. Press. You mean this box? You mean this one right here? Yes! That pathetic box! Lady Andrews was especially taken with the urn. And she wouldn't let anyone enter the storeroom, not even me. Huh. Interesting new tidbit. So you're sure that you'd never seen the urn before? Indeed, you may ask Lady Andrews to confirm for yourself. You know what? And yeah, you've been fucking quiet this whole time. Yeah. You're at me. Go. <laughs> what? You're at me. Go. Wow. Character switch right in the middle of a fucking thing. Go. Go. <laughs> what? My security was focused entirely on the entrance to that warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I make the rules here, right? I could do this, right? I guess. I could do this, right? I'm fucking tired of talking to myself. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Why not? However, I look at me. Let no information whatsoever slip through my fingers. Press. You mean this calling card? That's right. That is, without a doubt, my calling card. I guess Mr. Delight didn't make this after all. Of course. Because Atme knew about the emblem. Making this card authentic would have been child play for him. Then no one entered the basement warehouse. Unfortunately, there were many different treasures being taken there. <laughs> Luke yacht me. <laughs> Thus, for a period of approximately five days. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. This character does sound like Nia, actually. From uh, Arcade Turrets. What do you mean? You're using the same People. fucking voice. You only have one. Yeah, well, shut up. 
people are indeed going in and out of the warehouse. Hmm. And this is the photo that pr uh, that, huh? Indeed. To be honest, even if a photo was taken, I didn't think it would matter terribly much. Hey, Nick. This I'm not this character, actually. The good photo is fake. Detective had me milestone to earn whenever this was taken. That's true. You know he's been saying that he never saw the urn until that night. If we can prove that he's lying, we can wrap this up and put a bow on it. I need to take a good hard look at the court record. Hmm. Where's that to go on? That detective's been covering his tracks. There's only one thing we need to prove in this cross-examination, however. That he took this photo well before the actual night of the crime. Oh, that then, how did we use that? There's one thing that Abney stated very clearly. That he had never seen the urn before he stole it. We need to prove that he's lying. Never actually able to see the urn till the day of the crime. I think there's a funny bit of evidence that proves that wrong. I think there's a way to prove that there wrong. There is a funny bit of evidence that proves that wrong, actually. Is it this one? No. It's not the literal flyer that everyone has seen? No. <laughs> oh. Let's see then. Camera data or 1am the night of the crowd? Uh... Check the calling card. I'll be coming to purloin the most priceless work of art in this plane. On this plane, your treasures of curating exhibit. Take good I'll care see. of this speckled urn. Speckled! It says, uh, the art is on display. Which contradicts what he was saying about how it was always locked up. No, 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 it was locked up. He's not lying. I'm just- I just mean this- this is implying that it- it was being displayed. No, this is implying that it's supposed to be on display in this exhibit. But until the exhibit, which hadn't happened yet by this point, or at all, It, um, it's been locked up, like, in the warehouse. And there was no way he could have known that there were speckles on it. Right, specifically, what we're looking at here is the fact that he knew there was paint on it. And the only one that should have known that was, um, what's her face? Adrian. I get, I get where you're coming from, but, like, from what we actually know... Adrian yeah. really did lock it up. And like Well no, I wasn't it. implying she didn't lock it up. I just thought that it was still like being displayed. No, no, it wasn't. It was literally gonna come out for the exhibit, but the exhibit never got to happen. Okay. Yeah. Well Kido says Peeks out from pillow for a blanket nest, waves at all, and then hides again. Pat 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 pat. 
Enjoy your D&D session! Present the calling card. Mr. At Me? I mean, if you really are Mask Star the Mask, you also wrote this calling card, correct? Up to now, yeah. That's of course! Is there a problem with that calling card? No! How could you? How could you change your name? What the fuck? Why? Keto and How Panda. dare yeah. Bam. Damn it. Dude, the fuck's your problem? How am I gonna fuck with you that you're Keto now? How? I guess you just need an all-keto diet. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> How are you doing, Panda? I hope your D&D is going well. Sigh. Allow me to read a passage from the calling card that had that, that mass star Damask had written. Take good care of the speckled urn. Now. The speckled gear surely refers to this pink pattern on the sacred urn. Wah, wah, wah. Yes, that is true, but so what? Not. Truth be told, there is no way that Mass Star to Mass could have known about this pattern. Me. This pink spotted pattern on the urn is actually nothing more than paint stains. Paint stains? And these stains did not appear until after the urn had been taken to Lord Lee Taylor. <laughs> I'm not finding this joke to be very funny, Mr. Trent. The day the sacred urn was taken to the warehouse, the urn was broken due to human error, or should I say, an error-prone human. One such as Riza Hawkeye of Full Metal Alchemist. That's not very nice, Phoenix. That's when the <laughs> pink paint got on the urn. You, you can't be serious. <laughs> Yet this calling card clearly mentions the paint pattern, doesn't it? How strange. Which means, Detective Atme had seen this urn long before the crime ever took place. In fact, he saw it when the fake photo was taken. And because this photo is a fake, your alibi for the night of the murder no longer holds water. <laughs> Peak Naya right there. Venice, do you have anything to say for yourself? <laughs> Alright, that did it. He's broken. Um, I think it's a little early for victory pose. Huh? It's so sad. No one has any conviction these days. C conviction, you say? Yesterday, 
We all decided unanimously that this man was Mask Star the Mask. And now we're calling him a murderer. You don't think we're being a tad fickle. What are you trying to say? Like, the evidence came out. What do you mean? Just shut up. Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up, Bob. Bob will fight you. That's not an argument. It's not. He's being annoying. Judge, don't fall for that, please. I'm begging you. You say that Luke Gatby was the one who killed Kane Buller? Let me ask you this. Why would he do that? <laughs> An excellent point! <laughs> Motive, Mr. Right. Motive. Might you, my merry, murderous motive, manifest? Next, he's getting a second round. If he prepared an alibi and pinned his crime on Ron the Light as you say, he must have a very strong motive for murder. The only one with any motive we've seen is Ron the Light. Isn't that right, Detective? Indeed. According to my own research, the boy's motive is clear. Without a motive, it's near impossible to prove pro <laughs> guilt in a murder case. Now then, maybe you can enlighten us what the defendant's motives were. I'd be honored to, Sir Old Timer. They're doing everything they can to make Ron look suspicious. Despite our lack of hard information, this may be our only chance. Witness testimony, motive for murder. I look at me, had no points of contact with the victim whatsoever. <clears throat> Gang Bullard decided to investigate the mask stardom mask and simply mistook who he was. It was Mr. Bullard who wrote the blackmail letter and sent it to Ron Delight. How does he know all that? Why does that look like a stick of gum? It is. <laughs> Is again Mr. Bullard who harbored a grudge against Mr. Delight for his betrayal. Mr. Bullard's mistake is quite excusable. The defendant truly believes he is Mask Star to Mask. That is why Mr. Delight saw it fit to kill King Bullard. Truly a tragedy. 
сейчас, Аня. So the victim came bothered, blackmailed the defendant. This is the blackmail letter found in the defendant's apartment. A handwriting test confirms that Mr. Bullard was indeed the one who wrote the letter. What? Blackmail letter updated in the court record. Very well, Mr. Wright. Begin your cross-examinations. Okay. Press. <sighs> Who in the world is going to prove that? I will. After doing a thorough Money. background check of Detective Atme and Kane Bullard, we were unable to find any links between them. It's all in the report. Connected to the work. They were both involved in security. Nope. That was grunt. The motive was Mr. Delight. Press. Miss Duck. That's right, Miss Duck. From Old Norse Mistaka, meaning to take an air. What I meant. Just who did the victim mistake Max thought the mask to be? <laughs> is obvious. Rock delight, of course. Boy, I'd like to wipe that smug look off of this guy's face. Press it harder! Why would the victim mistake the defendant for Mask Star the Mask? Don't you already know that? Zvani! Take a look at this newspaper! I know that. Zvari! <laughs> Zvari! Ho oh, oh, ho! That's the famous Tear of a Manon! A magnificent jewel! That photo shows a magnificent detective as well, does it not? Furthermore, it also shows an ugly guard, namely the defendant. Defendant? The victim clearly misread this article and. Zardy! He got the wrong impression. Oh, 
the impression that this ugly security guard was in fact Mask Star de Mask. Mask Star de Mask. Hmm, I see. He sounds bitter. Yeah. That was an unusually reasonable deduction. You mean this blackmail letter right here? It says, bring $50,000. And the handwriting is without a doubt the victims. There's no mistake. We have an official report to prove. I don't see an addressee on this letter anywhere. An addressee? This letter was discovered in Ron Delight's apartment. And Mr. Delight did show up at the designated place and time. The fact that there is no addressee is irrelevant. I wonder. What's up, Nick? I just had a thought. What if that blackmail letter wasn't meant for Mr. Delight? Hmm. Wow, well, do you have any evidence of that? For some reason, I just can't shake the feeling that there's something not quite right about this blackmail letter. Quite satisfied. Oh, press. What do you mean by that? Oh, my, I was certain you were already aware. Buddy. I need to read this too. Yeah, sure. It's been a while. Baby Security has a lot of security info in all sorts of companies. And since I was a security team chief, I stole data from the company. A Bullard had yet to forgive young Mr. Delight. Which is why he had sent him that letter, upon mistakenly believing he was the thief. Here is a file that we discovered in Mr. Bullard's office. Evidence. That Mr. Bullard was receiving money through blackmail. Hmm, however, isn't this a bit odd? It is a bit odd. Is it? It might. Why would why would it depend? 
dependent. Defendant pay De Mr. Bardo the money. Yeah, why would the dependent pay him the money? I don't get it. Even though he wasn't actually Max Star the Mask. On that point, there was an unfortunate bit of chance. Whoops. think that story is going to hold up? That assertion is not merely my own, I'm afraid. What do you mean? I have here a memo from Ron Delight's wife, Desiree Delight. Ronnie thinks he's mask star the mask. Don't you feel sorry for him? Please don't think too badly of him. Ha! Well, Mr. Trite? <laughs> Was he lying? Was he trying to act like Mr. Light just now? Friday was actually pretty convincing. Hold it. Now that's just your imagination talking. Oh, now, sir lawyer. I'm afraid imagination isn't the right word for it. This is a deduction, a result of carefully applied reasoning. Can we hear the careful reasoning for ourselves? It's a long story, and better saved for another time. No. No! Very well, another time. Those so-called long stories aren't usually that long. At least not in my experience. Whoops. That was a Maya thing. I'm gonna wait for it to come in to YouTube and I'll read it myself. Yeah, it's right. Give it a quick second. Fuck. Can I? Oh, I can't. Hold on. So you're going to try to connect Detective at me to Mr. Bullard, right? There we go. In that case, you have to talk about the blackmail. That's true. Was that blackmail letter really intended for Ron? enough information you try to press him for more testimony. Maybe I'll be able to shake some contradictions loose that way.
what do we think? What do we what did we not press on? I thought we pressed on everything, but maybe you just have to press on everything again. Let's find out. Who in the world's going to prove that? I will. Skip. 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 No. No. Mistook. Oh no. Okay. Skip. Did we press this hard yet? How would the victim seek the defendant from Master the Mask? Don't you already know that? It's Fari, the newspaper. Yeah. What if we leave it alone this time? Can't stand to hear of any more of his long-winded stories. I'll hold off on pressing him further for now. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Um... Oh! We do have proof that, uh... He did send the black Miller too wrong. Oh, what did you remember? What is it? Well, the blackmail letter. Oh, uh, what are we pressing? What are we read it. Then make a sense if Ron's supposed to be the one that sent it to. I'll take that red diamond. Oh! Oh! So, present it on that one instead. Yep. Shit. What if the red diamond is Desi? Huh? Bring 50,000. And he's just petty. That he's just talking about Desi? Yeah, he could have just been doing all of this because he's petty and <laughs> wants some Desi. Ooh. Possibly. Quite possibly. Okay. In fact, you a few questions, detective at me. Well, if it's just a few, I guess it's all right. I mean, you are there so we could ask you questions. When you said that this letter was addressed to Fron the Light, I couldn't help but notice one major contradiction. Contradiction? I don't know where a walking contradiction Diction like you gets off saying things like that. Shut the fuck up, Goodell. No one likes you, Goodell. You're one to talk, Goodell. At times like these, men are made to express themselves with their fists. I've been waiting for this all chapter. Step outside, Goodell. Why don't you show us what you got there, Junior? Shut the fuck up, Judge. Gee, time to trap man up, Mr. Wright. Bank, 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 bank. <laughs> what? You hear that? Yeah, what is that? Yeah, yeah. Who's that coming from? Bank, bank, bank. 
weird. They stop. I don't know. Do we have the red gem? No. Uh, it's in the newspaper clipping, isn't it? That's not the red gem. Yeah, that was the deer. No, they're talking about his uh his ring. Well, I don't know if we have that. Ha. A little two one punch like that when you face me. I think you mean one two punch. One punch. Mr. Wright. Try thinking this through a little more before finding faults with others. <laughs> anyway, let's try reading the blackmail letter one more time. There's got to be something off about it somewhere. Oh. Let's save. Yeah, start presenting the newspaper. Then it revealed. Take that red diamond you received. I wish I could read it. It's the only relevant thing I can think of. Yeah, but it doesn't say anything about a diamond. Uh, he showed me the poster, Matt. Uh, his. Uh, not that one, but of Mass Star Damask. Uh. What about it? I just wanted to see if either of these had a ring, and they don't. Maybe they are talking about the Enamon, because maybe he's... Hmm. Let's try it. Look at this newspaper clipping that Rose happened to be right about. Woo! 69! Yo! Yo! Rose, hit it! Rose, deal with it! Rose, oh, oh, get rid of hello, it! Hello, Bye. Goodbye. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Take a good look at this newspaper clipping. It contains a picture of the Tear of Eminon. The stolen jewel. Judge? What about it? The problem is this jewel's color. Color? 
I'm not much for discussing color myself. Going to the clipping. The color of the stolen jewel is blue. After the blackmail letter, a totally different jewel is mentioned. I'll take that red diamond you received the other day. Red? Which means... The red diamond described in the blackmail letter is not the tear of Eminon. That mask start the mask stole at all. And your <coughs> and your point is, Mr. Trite. So you are trying to say that this blackmail letter was intended for someone else? That is what you're trying to say, right? Trite? Is that what you're trying to say, Mr. Right? <laughs> yes. This is who Kane Bullard was actually blackmailing. Naturally, it was you, Detective Amy. You have some sort of basis for that claim. You have been personally involved in every single mass star to mass case. And in the last case, you recovered what was stolen and received the jewel. As your reward. A, a jewel? Probably the one wrapped conspicuously around your finger. That red diamond ring. <laughs> that is the diamond referred to in the letter. Which means that Kane Bullard wrote that letter in order to blackmail you. Yep. That's right. Order, order in the court. Uh, um, order, I say. It seems you've gone too far with your childish pranks, Mr. Trite. Uh-oh. I don't like the way he said that. Kane Fullard blackmailing Luke Atten. Are you for real? Y yeah. Yes, I am. Yeah, come on. Stand up to him. Then answer me this. The blackmail letter contains the following passage. If you don't want your identity revealed to the world. Yes, it certainly does. Kane Bullard threatened to make Luke at me's identity public knowledge. An identity he wanted to keep a secret. So just what was that identity? At me killed Kane Bullard because he was afraid of a secret becoming known. What was the identity he wanted to keep secret?
This is where it all comes down to, Nick. The identity that Luke at me wanted to desperately keep secret was his identity as Ace Detective. Didn't sound right. Master of the Mask. Doesn't feel right either. A blackmailer. Luke at me was a blackmailer. Objection. Hey now, isn't that a little different from what you've been saying? You said that King. Bullard was the one blackmailing Luke at me. Are you saying that at me was blackmailing someone else on top of that? You have to admit, that does sound a little odd. Not odd. It's the only thing that makes sense. Kane Bullard was blackmailing at me. Baron Delight was also being blackmailed by certain someone. So, did you start receiving blackmail letters after this incident? Days after the tear of that man on heist. After that, I started getting the plans in the mail. I received plans from some very kind person. Incredibly detailed plans. Very detailed plans. In which case, that would mean Mr. Vo that Undelight was actually Master of the Mask. This is what we are claiming. Someone else came up with the plans and had Mr. Delight steal his targets for him. And that someone was none other than Luke at me. <laughs> now I see, it's all becoming clear. What, what is? When you were in grade school, you received the same report card every year. What? Careless, with the tendency to jump to conclusions. Am I wrong? Ha! Ha ha ha! How did you know that? Oh! Oh! You say that I? Look at me! Was blackmailing Ronda Light. In which case, I would naturally know all about his relation to the mask, Star to Mask. Well, yes. Ron Delight started receiving plans from his second crime onward. Correct? Which means I learned of his identity when he committed the first crime. Is he... is he fucking outing himself right now? Good point, you certainly couldn't have blackmailed him otherwise. Hey, dude, wait. I am convinced that the chat is an idiot. In that case, let's see some hot, bitter evidence. During the first crime, how did Luke at me know that Ron's delight was Mask Star the Mask? Do you know? Wouldn't it be the newspaper uh, clipping 
when he threw it away in the th threw it out, um, threw his costume away and went to the sink because that's him in the back, right? So I mean, may have known, uh, found the costume and known that it was him because uh, Ronda Light couldn't just disappear out midair, right? This random guard also did appear just out of nowhere. Yeah, so I mean, must have known once he found the outfit. Huh. I like your reasoning. We're going with that. I think I see it. Say what? When you were in grade school, you receive the same report card every year. Gets into lots of mischief, trying to be the center of the tension. What do you mean? This newspaper clipping. It has a picture of you. And Ron Delight in his guard uniform. It seems that Mass starred the Mass didn't just disappear into thin air. He just took off his outfit and hid it in a bucket. That sounds far too stupid to be true. Correct. With tricks like that, he couldn't fool a baby, let alone an ace detective. That's when you figured them out. Huh, Mr. Atme? That's when you learned. That under his mask, <laughs> Master of the Mask was. What the? What the, he's supposed to be Master of the Mask? Not only that, it looks like he wasn't even a detective. I can't believe it. He was just a slimy blackmailer. What a fraud! Trying to pass himself as an ace detective. <laughs> Why, you? How dare you expose me like that? I, I mean, I've never blackmailed anyone in my life! I'm a famous and proud ace detective and also mask star to mask! <laughs> Why can't you understand that? <sighs> I'm afraid you're neither a proud thief nor an ace detective. You're a blackmailer and a murderer. That is your true identity. Why, you? You wanna try? <laughs> it's actually gonna handle blackmail. <laughs> the left to make one laugh. It would seem we finally arrived at this is not my character. Well. Final stretch, y'all. Go ahead, Bob. Bob? Uh, real quick, is Bob still in the call? Bob's been having internet Bob. issues. Bob is still in the call. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes it doesn't disconnect immediately also. So. Yeah, which was weird earlier when, when it cut off so perfectly. Fucking calculated ass uh, internet disconnect. No, Bob? All right, I'm going to take over because we need to be done here. I want to go get food. Yeah. It would seem we finally arrived at the real answer. That was quite a performance by Mr. Abney. Bailiff, please prepare a cell for Mr. Abney. The hammer that strikes too fast. 
has no time to aim. Hold on. Welcome back. You want to take over your character again? What do you mean? I'm already prepared to deliver my ruling. Allow me to say one thing. I will be the one to judge. Mm. You don't get much more in your face than that. It appears that your claws weren't quite sharp enough. No, 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 no. Right? No, 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 no. You were on your 17th cup of coffee. Cut that shit out. You're done. You're done. What? What do you... It's true that you've proven a lot of things. Things like Luke at me was a filthy blackmailer. And that he wasn't at Lordly Taylor the night of the murder. That's right. That's why he's the one who killed Mr. Bull. But... <sighs> there's still one thing you have yet to prove. What's that? Just because he wasn't at the warehouse, doesn't mean he was at the murder scene. Therefore, if you can't prove that this pitiful excuse of a man was at KB security, then I don't see how a verdict can be delivered. No way! Come on, dude! Order, order in the court. Well, Mr. Wright. This is it. This is the final round. I've got to prove that Atme was at Mr. Bullet's office on that night. Uh, uh, can you really prove it? That's long enough, Mr. Trite. I want to hear your answer. That night, Luke at me was at KB security, and the defense. <laughs> I don't think you can prove it. I think I can prove this one. I don't think so. I think I can prove this one. I really don't. What do you think? Because we don't have m enough evidence to do anything. You don't know that. Do we? What's your proof? Do we have any timestamps? Documents? No, we don't. Oh, no. This buzzer went off at 102. I can't prove it. But if we hear more of Detective Abney's testimony. Unfortunately, that's as far as you go, Mr. Trite. What do you mean? I won't allow for any more testimony. That's what I mean. What? Have you forgotten? Who got me is here after me interrupting his own trial. And you have failed to prove that he committed the murder. I think it's time for this witness to return to his own trial. And face 
his guilty verdict as Mask Star the Mask. No. Sorry, go ahead. Well, Mr. Lloyd. And Lord. it's Detective as well as Mark. Mask Star the Mask. My verdict will verify that. Justice Ron Delights will verify that he is the true murderer. You're implying that just because you get, uh, declared something in court that's the truth. In most cases, it's not. I declare that with the full force of my ace detectiveness. We already proved he wasn't there on the day of the murder anyway, so it's not even relevant. Yeah, no, we just got him out of that fucking case, Scott Free. Because if they fucking, uh, if they now, if they don't add that to the court record over there, he's getting falsely, order, uh... Order in the court, that's enough to deliberation over this witness. <laughs> I can't believe this at this rate, Ron is. Don't give up now, Nick. But yeah, no, yeah, hold on. Before you continue this, they can't go back and not add that to the court record over there, right? That would be foolish. We literally just proved that he wasn't there. And that, therefore, he is not Master of the Mask. Like, they cannot continue I mean, that trial. He did blatantly commit the crime. But we just proved that he did commit on the day of the murder. Which means it's completely and utterly irrelevant. Yeah, no, they have to do a lot more investigation for that trial to even continue. Anyway. Go ahead, me today. We still have tomato. We can look for more evidence and... By then it will be too late. Why? Double Jeopardy, one of the basic rules of any court of law. Um. Double Jeopardy? Should the defendant be tried and found innocent in court? The defendant cannot be tried again for the same crime. This is a fundamental rule in all courts. It applies to this witness as much as it applies to anyone else. That was the judge, but yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Mr. Atme will be found guilty in a matter of minutes. Guilty as Master of Math, which means. He will be found innocent as far as the murder of Kane Bordard is concerned. That is an insane series of logic that doesn't make any sense, but whatever, Judge. No way. Hey. 
The fact that you were unable to prove Mr. Atme's guilt of the crime here. Means that he will never again be tried as Kane Bollard's murderer. He's not on trial! <laughs> There's nothing could possibly do to win. Even if Ron is proclaimed to be innocent, the real killer, Luke Atme, will go free! <sighs> you have cross-examined every statement that the witness has made today. And as long as there's no more testimony... I'm afraid I have to declare that there will be no further questioning of this witness. Are there any, Are there any objectives? No, 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 objection, right here. Then I hereby end the cross-examination of Luke at me. What? Yeah, there we go, baby! I don't know who this is. It's, uh... Bessie? I think it's Mia. Mia? Alright, I got it. by Maya. Alright, I got this. I think I see it. Your Honor, when you were a child, this is what was on your report card every year. Has poor hearing and often makes mistakes as a result. <laughs> How did you know? Phoenix, raise your head up high. Have you forgotten what I used to tell you? I've been dead for at least three games now. But remember, a lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets, Phoenix. That voice. No way. That's right. It's me. Maya. With Booba. Long time no see, Phoenix. What? Yeah, that's happens yeah. when you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you kinda don't see anyone when you're dead, huh? This is the true power of the curing channeling technique. I know it's really Maya who's standing before me, but right now she's my mentor, Maya Fey. Mia Fey. Now, let's do this. But there's nothing more we can do, Mia. Without any more testimony, I can't cross-exam. Not yet. The testimony is not over yet. What do you mean? Your Honor, just now you said something very interesting. You cross-examined every statement the witness has made here today. Yes, that's true, but... Unfortunately, Your Honor, you're forgetting something. Earlier, after the last cross-examination, the witness made a number of remarks. As a lawyer, it seems that love wins out in the end after all. I am the ace detective, as well as Mask Star to Mask. My verdict will verify that. <laughs> Just as Ron Delights will verify that he is the true murderer. I declare that with the full force of my ace detectiveness. <laughs> it, it, yes, but these comments appear to have no importance whatsoever. Very well. 
then we shall improve their importance via cross-examination. At any rate, as long as the witness has made these remarks, we defense assert our right to question them. Is that all right with you, Mr. Prosecutor? Hmm. Is something the matter, Mr. Godot? Ah, uh, uh, nothing. <sighs> yeah. Oh, sir. <laughs> it looks like you're one step too late. <laughs> Take over the stream. Woof woof. Back. Nice. We're all still here, right? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Think such falsehoods will do anything to me? Look at me. Let's hear it. Uh... It's true that the witness made some remarks. So then, let's. Hear this last bit of cross examination. No, oh, sorry about that. Mr. Gathot! What are you doing? Gobo, please! <laughs> Very well then, Mr. Luca at me. I'm going to allow the defense to cross-examine your earlier remarks. The defense would like to hear why you declared the defendant to be the true murderer. So please give us one last bit of testimony. Sorry, I gotta grab a dog. Okay, I got the mouth. She's scratching my door. <laughs> Phoenix, this is it. This is our absolute last chance. Y yes, Chief. The last testimony. It is true. I was not at Lordly Taylor. We have to leave to see about another vitally important job request. I had known about the date beforehand, so I had this photograph ready. My brilliant deduction was what informed me that the true culprit was Ron Delight. And thanks to the key card and bullet, it was abundantly clear that he was there. 
I was also able to make a deduction from the buzzer, which only sounded once. The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? Victim would have left prints if he sounded it. Which means the killer sounded it. Mr. Delight was wearing his mask star to mask outfit, which is why he left no Chi -chi. prints. Poppy. Chi Chi. Chi Chi, come here. I gotta open that door. The wind from the window is making the door like rock and shake in the frame. That yeah. a dog is like freaking out. I just put something in front of the door to hold it in place. Haha, -ha, dog, get out played. Go ahead. And the blackmail letter, the victim likely just mistook the color of the jewel. That for all the evidence points to the poor boy. It doesn't, but okay. This testimony actually seems to hold up pretty well. Good thing we have a ghost with us. Chee chee. Yeah, Bobby. The witnesses' earlier me remarks do not appear to have been hastily prepared. All of his points have been explained and none of them seem to contradict anything. Zwarie. Of course. <laughs> Yo, the judge? You know about the emergency buzzer. These investigation documents went directly through me. Drop it. I look always over all the documents. It's elementary, so look. Are you going to make even more trouble for us now? Her lawyer. Itchy. Chichi. Go ahead. I will not allow you to use any of your usual shenanigans, Mr. Bite. Y yes, Your Honor. We cannot propose to do that Miss trial any longer. This is your last chance. Hang on a sec, just one chance? Huh. It seems that the party's about to begin. Well, Phoenix, 
There isn't any evidence that contradicts that with that testimony. So it would seem. What do you mean, so it would seem? Listen, Phoenix, pointing out contradictions doesn't always mean you have to present evidence, does it? At any rate, this is your last chance. If you can't point out a case-breaking contradiction, you lose. That's all there is to it. Cup number 17. The last cup. Come on, it bro. You seems... had cup 17 a month ago. Drop easy. Go ahead. It seems like the time has come to put an end to this trial. to find a fatal contradiction in this testimony. And I need to point it out without presenting evidence. Which means all I can do is find the contradictory remark and press it. Remember, you only get one chance. Very well then, Mr. Wright. Please begin your final cross-examination. I mean... This is the last chance, right? I only get one. So, if I hit options and then hit save and then hit yes. Now we get as many tries as we want. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Taylor. I already know which one it is. So. You do? Yeah, of course I do. Which one? It's the which buzzer one. one. It's the buzzer one, because, like, how else would he know? Well, he has access to the police documents. Why would he have access to the police documents? Because he was a, he said a detective. He did. Okay, but he said he did, but, like, he's not a detective for that case. He shouldn't have had those documents. They had nothing to do with each other. And by the time those documents would have come to light, he was already here, on trial. And he would have been, um, he would have been criminalized already as Master of the Mask, so he wouldn't have gotten those documents. If he really would have known about that murder, then he would have known that they would have pinned it on, uh, Ron. The only way for him to have known about the murder at the time would have been to have been the one to commit the murder. That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Mr. At me about this last remark. You still don't get it, do you, Trite? This isn't the time to be pressing the witness on every little statement. What? I said this before. There's still one thing you haven't proven. That this scum was in Cade Bullard's office that night. And now, it's time for me to drink my last cup. Duel! Hey, hydrate. Hydrate! Hydrate! Oh no. Well, we have a save. F. <laughs> Alright, anyone else have any ideas? Uh... I have a... Hmm. He says that he knew about... He says I think that... it's the love. Can I, can I read through the statements again? Yeah, sure. Start at the beginning. How fast do you read? I read pretty fast. Okay.
was wearing his master. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he says wait, that. Hey, go back to the outfit. Yes. Mister Delight was wearing his master daughter mask. How does Ami know that? He was on trial next door. Yeah. Wait a minute. And, and the police didn't know about it. Not even yeah, because, about because it. Uh, uh, Ron uh, confessed to it during the case. No one knew about it. Yeah, you're right. So yeah, how, how does Abby know about it? He shouldn't. He shouldn't, what? right? Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm not that's... crazy, right? No, let's press that. Let's press that. We're pressing that one. About this, ah, oh, we're fucked. Fucking smoked, we're cooked. Oh, 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 I'm afraid you're the one who smoked, Goodell. You're fucking cooked, bro. You don't get it. You don't get it. You don't understand. You're fucking what? done. <laughs> you're cooked. Mr. Atme, it seems you finally admitted that you were in the CEO's office on the night of the murder! How can you say that? Let's review your testimony, shall we, Mr. Atme? The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? Mr. Delight was wearing his Mask Star the Mask outfit. Isn't that correct? Here, come here, dog. Dog. Indeed, that's what I said. Come here, dog. My deductions are absolutely foolproof. Alright, I gotta grab this dog and I'm gonna squish her until this is over. Don't run. You're squished. I'm happy. No, no, you're, <laughs> you're cooked. You're smoked. You don't have any more uh, free reign until the end of this fucking stream. You're done. Nope, you're done now. You're in my lab. That's it. You're done. Sorry, dog. I tried. I told you no, like sixteen times. Now you're now you're here. Now you're here. You're done. You're cooked. You're smoked. You're like salmon. More like your deductions prove that you're a fool. Uh, I am sorry. Whatever do you mean? For some. For some reason, I'm starting to get really thirsty. <laughs> when exactly did we learn that fact? That Ron Delight was dressed as Mask Star the Mask when he was at the cre scene of the crime? That, that was, um... It was <laughs> just a few hours ago. Back when my sixth cup was looking at me with a cold stare. <laughs> yep, this is true. Go ahead, Ron. Do I have to read it again? Yes, you do. You have to read it a hundred times. hundred times, <laughs> I Ron. mentioned it before! I'm sorry. I've just never had a chance to mention it up till now. That's right. The defendant had yet to tell anyone else this fact before this morning. Therefore, the only people who should know about this are those who have been watching this trial. Do you understand now, Detective Atme? There's no way that you should have known about that. Yes! You were in the next courtroom being tried as Mask Star the Mask, weren't you? So enlighten us, how'd you know about that piece of information? Objection. C come on! This detective must have known about it. He probably had plenty of chances to find out beforehand. Okay, how did you not know?
and it's those chances that I want to discuss next. Get him! Get her! Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Rose, do the thing! Rose, do the thing! Rose! Rose, do what? it! Rose, get what him! What am I doing? Beautiful girls! Beautiful girl team! <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I'm not staring at the chat. SMH. Do your job, co streamer. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You gotta teach me how to do that, I forgot. I'm, I'm looking at the game, not the chat. SMH, simply have two monitors. It, it's just hide. Simply have two monitors. It's those chances I want to discuss next. That night, Mr. Delight was wearing his mask, Star the Mask outfit. There's one and only one way for Detective Vatme to have found that out. Only one. One way, you say? Please recall, if you will, Mr. Delight's testimony. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. For a second, my client witnessed a real killer. But Mr. Delight never saw his attacker. So there's no way to tell whether or not the real killer was Lou Gatton. It's with that statement that I'll turn this case on its head. J just what are you implying? Mr. Delight saw the real killer, correct? Now, if you turn that statement around, it stands to reason that the real killer had also seen Ron the Light. The impossible. <gasps> Detective at me. You saw Mask Star the Mask at the murder scene that night. You saw him when you killed Kane Bullard and assaulted Ron the Light. That's the only way you could have known what Ron was wearing. <laughs> Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. <laughs> Here I am, the tragic clown. That's the same line you gave yesterday. I think there's a more meaning a little more meaning behind it this time. <laughs> what in <clears throat> Go ahead. What an officer what an awful Okay, why can't I say this? Awfully? What an awful op What a complicated Aww. incident. Full. Awfully. 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 Aw. Say aw. Aw. Say full. Full. Now just say the letter E. E. Put it together. Awfully. Awfully. There you go, that's perfect. That's it, you got it. <laughs> You got it. You did it. You just did it. Off. Do it again. Okay. You got it. Okay. <laughs> it's alright, it's evolving. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Kane Bullard was back marrying Luke Acme, who was in turn back marrying Ron tonight. A 
upon and upon killing his black metal, you got me tried to frame Ronda Knight. He then claimed to be guilty as Mass started Mask in order to escape his true crime. And to that end, he came up with his plan. To use the double jeopardy rule in making his alibi. Um... At any rate, it would seem we finally found a truth. Go ahead, Ron. Excuse me. I can't pair these good old clothes to be smudged the record of an innocent young man. He's smudging him with the title of a murderer. Sorry. Don't ignore me! Oh, I didn't realize you were there. Why <laughs> wouldn't he be? Um, about the verdict. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. I know you never committed any murder. That's right. I'm so glad you understand that. But I, uh, I really am Mask Stardom Man. God, you're the worst. You're the fucking worst. Oh. Uh. The trial yesterday, I'm innocent now, right? Uh. What was it you said? Double jeopardy? Now that you mention it. <laughs> hey, we got him. Hey, we did it! We fucking did it! We did it, baby! We got, we got him out of it! You did this. This is your fault. You should have just let us do it. This is your fault, Phoenix. You should have just let him fucking mark him as a fucking... <laughs> Careless. What do you think of... What do you think, Mia? As the defendant says, the rule of double jeopardy is absolute. A defendant can never be tried twice for a crime in which he was once found innocent. The mask star the mask is really innocent. It would seem so for now. For, for, for now. Surely they could try him for the other four thefts, right? Um. I think they found him innocent of being masked star to mask. Right, but if he continues to commit crime, then they would have to get him. Was I feel he like... on trial for all five thefts, or just the one? Just the one, so they can get him for the other ones. But I think, I, I think that they can chop those other ones up to blackmail. Except for maybe the first one. But he didn't exactly get away with the first one, so that that one's probably not even worth it. They'll probably wait for him to do it again. I feel like that's uh, the way to do it because now I've mastered the match shows up again. It's him, right? Like automatically. 
You just trial him for that that case. Right, I guess. Hey, we did it. <laughs> Go ahead, Boy, yeah. this is really lucky. Wait. This isn't so good after all. See? Da, 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 da. I still am master at the mask. October 14th, 3.35 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number 4. You freaking did it. <laughs> you did it, Phoenix. Thanks, Mia. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because Maya doesn't call on me much these days. Oh? I'm just joking, Phoenix. Don't take everything so seriously. But on the other hand, Maya, she seems kind of torn these days. You mean about becoming the master of the Kyrian Channeling School? Becoming the master means saying goodbye to our mother. <sighs> Misty Fay, right? Watch over her. Will you, Phoenix? Of course. Make sure she doesn't get accused of anything else. Make sure she doesn't get accused of murder again. <laughs> well then, see you around. Congratulations, Mr. Delight. Thank you so much! Er, no, wait! Nothing really matters anymore now. Come on, just be happy out of here. Yeah, seriously, dude, you got away with theft. Legally, they can't touch you. You're done. <laughs> Go home. Have a good one. Get a new job. Maya. You've been feared of the murder charges and got off at mass start of mass today. But in exchange, I lost everything. What do you mean? Stealing security information from KB security. Becoming mask star to mask. I gave you a chance, dog, and you went and you did it again. Get fucked. I did it all for one reason. For her. You mean your wife, Desiree? Come to think of it, she was one held hostage by some robbers, wasn't she? She always said how she hated sneaky criminals! I knew that! I knew that, but... Once I got fired from KB security and lost all the money I had... She wouldn't have any reason to stay with me. I thought she would leave me for sure. So that's why you became Master of the Mask? Yeah, but it's all over now. The bowl can never be put back together.
Me today. That's not true, right, Nick? All right, I need y'all to be on this. We're done here. This is it. This is the end. Pay attention. Or right, let me take your cake. I'm done here. <laughs> Please. Right. Why well, can't hear you? Really? Can we go back to the way things were? <laughs> You'll be fine, and Nick can prove it. I can. I kinda wish you could check with me first, Mr. Delight. Even if a bowl is broken, there's always a way to put it back together. Oh, that's easy. How's it going? Been working a bit? Oh, we're about to end up this trial, actually. We just got a not victi guilty verdict for uh, Mr. Delight. And thanks to Double Jeopardy, he can't be trialed as Mask Star the Mask again. So, uh, he got away yeah. with theft. Well, technically, Grand Lost me. Yeah, good for him. Sacred Earth! Guess he was the one who found this. Desiree, your wife. She's always believed in you, Ron. That's why you'll be fine. You don't have to worry about anything. Ah! There you are! M miss Delight! You did it, Ronnie! You're innocent! I'm so happy! No, wait, no, wait, no, he's not. <laughs> he's not innocent, wait. Thank you! I, I appreciate that! But, um. I suppose you don't want anything more to do with me, do you? Buddy! Why didn't you talk to me about what was going on? I had no idea you'd quit KB Security. That's not what happened. That's not Is what happened. Are you watching? <laughs> Did you not pay attention to any of that? I never imagined that you were really mask star to mask either. That's right. What are you going to do now that you know? You're not going to really leave him, are you? Come on, it's obvious, isn't it? Was Ron determined to be mass stars the mask or not? Ron was in fact come here, dog. Stop scratching that door. No. Was in fact come here, dog. Interesting. Uh Ron was in fact actually <laughs> Sorry. Uh Mask Star the Mask, was, he was. Yeah. He was Mask Star the Mask. Um so what happened was he did the first heist, he fucked up. And that's where we see uh, this newspaper clipping here. He threw his uh, costume away into a trash bin and showed up to, like, investigate the scene of the crime. And at me, who was a detective, was like, oh, what the fuck? You're an idiot. You weren't here before. And then he found the outfit. So he started blackmailing him to do more crime. So he fucked up his one crime and then continued to do them with instructions from at me. So he was Mask Star to Mask, in quotation marks. He did steal the things, but he wasn't the mastermind behind Mask Star to Mask. So I guess you could say that Ron was also Mask Star to Mask, or uh, at me was also Mask Star to Mask. In a way. Anyway. How could I ever let a wonderful man like him get away? Ooh. After all, my bike's really fast. So fast that there's no way he could ever catch away. Are you gonna kill him? Mildly threatening. So, next trial is actually gonna be Desiree having killed <laughs> with her bike. Didn't you say that you hated criminals? Hmm? Oh, I only hate people who act all cowardly and sneaky. Like that detective. 
The criminals are cool. I see. My Ron, he went and declared his crimes before he committed them. Like a man. You know what? I'll I'll let her have that one. She can have that one. Me, Desiree. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm gonna let her have that one. She can have that one. I just love a man who's so so chivalrous. <laughs> shiv, like shiv, like a knife. Rule, say the word rule, like a ruler, rule. Then rus, chivalrous. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I was right about you. You can also say shovels are us. Chivalrous. There you go. Hey, you did it. Every day I spend with you is filled with thrills and excitement. Fancy. You really do love Ron, don't you? Nicky boy. Y yes? I'm really glad I asked you to defend my Ronnie. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Sorry, what did I do? Oh, well, um... Take care of yourself. You too, Nicky boy. What do you mean, Fox? Fox says everyone's exactly what their name suggests. Yeah, everyone's name is a pun. I can feel my face going red. Why? <laughs> Mr. Nick, Mystic Maya, congratulations! Talk about bad timing. Ah! Ah! Mr. Nick, how could you with another woman in front of Mystic Maya? No, 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 I'll never forgive you. You got it wrong. Yeah, you got it wrong. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> so, just as the case came to a close, so too did my consciousness because I got beat by a fucking nine year old. Ron said a broken bowl can never be put back together. But I know that's not true. I mean, just look. Here's a perfect example of one that was put back together even better than before. Episode <laughs> 2. The Stolen Turnabout. The End. Phoenix Wright, for example, is always right and constantly gets taken down to rise again. You're right. No! 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 Maya, Maya, no! Maya's on the front. That means she's going to fucking jail again. <laughs> no. In danger. She is in danger. Kind of cute in a maid outfit, though. Anyway. A Kathy. With the end, I mean, if you guys donate to me, it will be. Anyway, right. in the end, with the end of chapter two, comes the end of this fucking stream. I am done. I am out of here. <laughs> I'm hungry. What was it? Like, five, four, God. Only five hours and 40 minutes. Anyway, I'm fucking done. I'm hungry. I'm go I want to go get food. Mood. Maybe. Let's look at our raid options, and while I do, I'm going to say a name, you're going to give an outro, or you're going to decide to not give an outro, and I will say something for you, and you can put your link in chat. Anyway, we're going to start off with Mizure. Go. Hi, I'm Bob. You can catch me at Mizure Takayashi across all of the social media platforms, including Twitch and YouTube. 
Good so, night spreading it. Go ahead and put your link in the chat there. Yeah, go. Yeah, I'm Nico and yeah, and uh, uh, I'll be fixing thingies and stuff on Twitch tv forward slash Nico Nyanya. Nice. Put your link in chat. Go ahead. And Rose. Uh, you can find me at my Twitch link. We've been doing Mito Kuni. Uh, not last week. Probably not to this week either, but sometime. That's the wrong one. That's a fucking word. You just posted your. That's the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> you just posted <laughs> your fucking word. That, that that's I, thought, I thought I copied that's, my that's, that's all you got. Actually. No, that's all you got. That that's it. That's all you get. You get your fucking <laughs> word. You're done. And we're reading out Jitterick Oscuro. My good friend over oh, on Twitch. Fine. Enjoying uh, Rose's Wordle results. I thought I copied the Twitch link. <laughs> we love you, Rose. We fucking love you. Anyway, rain message is simple. What happened? It okay. Raid message is simple. Emo, we love streamer. Emo, emo, we love streamer. Emo for the two, two people that are actively watching. Go ahead and copy that down, and we're gonna paste it over in Rake's channel. And uh, I'm gonna go get food. And I'm gonna be done. I'm done. Try and actually copy it. Don't like think you copied it. And, and don't wrong. yeah, just go post your wordle results over in Rake's chat. I wanna know what the <laughs> fuck's going on. Anyway. I'm done here. Do not bother me until the second or the seventeenth. The second, I'm not gonna say what's happening, but the seventeenth, uh, we're gonna be streaming the launch of Horizon Final Fantasy XI private server over on my Twitch channel. Do not bother me until then. I am gone. Goodbye. Oh sevens fades into DPS. We're not streaming on Monday. I said I'm gone. Goodbye. Okay, fair enough. We'll probably be back Monday. We'll probably be back for all the streams in between. Uh, now and the 17th too, but you know, those don't matter. Those aren't as important. Anyway, thank you guys for showing up with me today. Uh, I hope you all have fun with Rake. Bye. 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 Bye.